What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and just giving you a heads up, donations will be off for the entire stream, it's way easier to focus that way, but yo, what is going on guys, it's actually a really nice day here in New York City, the temperature was around 75 degrees um, Fahrenheit, which is pretty abnormally high considering the time of year, but it is March, so I mean supposedly spring is coming along, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, but 75 is definitely higher than average, anyways guys, how are you doing however, thank you all for coming through, hopefully we're going to have ourselves a good time today, um, big props to everyone who came through as well, I mean I know this one was totally Totally unannounced, just like most of my streams, and a lot of people will say to me, yo, Etika, why don't you develop a schedule? My friend, we have not had a schedule on this channel for over three years now, and I'm, I mean, I know that maybe that's not something to be proud of necessarily, but it is something that I stand behind. There is never a schedule, there never will be a schedule, maybe there will be, I don't know for a fact what the future holds, I suppose, but for now, no schedule. Anyways, so thank you all for showing up. It's surprising that, you know, an unannounced stream still gets a massive amount of viewers. We're currently at 1,279. That's pretty fucking bananas, but I'm glad that you're here with me. Obviously, you're interested in Fire Emblem Fates uh, Conquest specifically, which is what we're going to be doing today, my friends. And now some of you may be wondering, yo, Etika, all you've been doing is Fire Emblem. Where's the other stuff that you do usually? You know, where's all that hype stuff? Well, the hype stuff, the thing is that when I'm usually stuck on something, I have to to complete it before I can move on to something else. I mean, not usually, it's not always that strict necessarily, but right now, since things are a little bit calm with the gaming news, I figure, hey, why not just use this time to knock out Fire Emblem um, Fates? A lot of you are also saying, well, then why haven't you done Awakening? To be real with you, man, I am enjoying Fates a lot more than Awakening, and I love playing Awakening, so what does that tell you? At the end of the day, Awakening will be done, but right now, Fates is hot, I'm loving it, and I just want to get more of this game. I want to play more. I want to explore more of what the hell happens with Corrin and his family in Conquest. So that is the main focus right now. But when, when stuff picks up by the summertime, when a lot of these games that are announced um, actually start to come out, then maybe we'll shift the focus a little bit more. Anyways, big props to everyone in the chat. As you all know, every time we do a roll call, I got I got to shout niggas out because you know I'm in the chat. You see that? You see the cursor in the chat. Both chats, my man. We're in both of them. I'm going to highlight both of these motherfuckers. Anyways, so let me give a shout out to my people in here. We got my man GCLLR. Um, one of the oldest subscribers of the channel. He's like one of my first ones, man. Back when I had 300 subscribers. This nigga was here for 300 subscribers, my man, and now he's here for fucking almost 300,000. GCLLR, man. God damn, dude. It feels like we've been through a lot of shit together, man. This man's seen evolution. But yo, what is going on, guys? We have Blue Ninja, Sam F11, Brian, Auto, Fire, Eli, Chris, Miro, Kyle, Klaus Hunter, Sinos. Now, you see, since we're doing this stream at somewhat of a reasonable time for the American side of things, I'm seeing more of the people that I would normally encounter around this time. So, uh, yeah, sorry you guys have missed the last few streams. I really don't know what kind of demon possessed me to make a stream happen at 3 a.m., but fuck it. That's usually what goes down when I want to play games that I'm really interested in, but they are strictly on, you know, me playing it only on camera. And this game, I'm only playing it on camera, basically. So... Let's go, guys. Um, thank you all for coming through. Like I said, donations are going to be off because, you know, we, we're trying to focus. We're trying to concentrate. Um, and big shout outs to the sponsor chat. However, we will be taking sponsors. Um, so if you want to join the sponsor chat, there's always an option. The link is down below in the description so you can check that out. Also, if anyone is interested in purchasing a Red Robin shirt like the one I'm wearing right now, let me see if I can get a good view of it on camera. If you want to purchase this there was going to be an option to do so in the description alongside with that link to the sponsor chat and the, um, the sponsor link, I suppose. Um, and, it, and the interesting thing is that if you actually do purchase one of the shirts, it's really cool. You get to leave a message, I believe. So just to show you really quick. So these people who all purchase the shirt, right? You can see them, you know, and they, they leave messages here. And it's like, oh, it's super awesome that the shirt is here and I'm excited to wear it. Thank you, Etika and Akai. I didn't even realize that you could leave a message when purchasing it that could be seen from my control panel. But it can be. So if you do buy one of these shirts during the stream, I'll get a notification on my little watch here. And I'll also be able to see your comment that you post alongside with it. Because the support is definitely appreciated. Akai big time appreciates it. It's hard for artists to make it out here nowadays. It's hard for content creators. So the fact that there's people out there willing to support us 
and get something nice in return, it's always comforting. You know, a lot of people think that I'm doing some kind of corporate industrial um, takeover type shit. Nah, it's, it's nothing to that extent. It's just a fun little product in exchange for some support for us to be able to continue putting food in our mouths and keeping these lights on. You know what I mean? Anyways, we've done enough talk. We've done enough prep. We've introduced ourselves to the chat. Um, what is going on to the sponsors, man? What's going on to you sponsors? Roger's base is in here? My nigga Raj, <laughs> my nigga Raj, we're going to be a C2E soon, my man. We got that shit planned, my boy. Yo, it's going to be real fun in um, a couple of days. I'm going to be flying out to Chicago and meeting up with Roger, um, Shofu, hopefully Kobe as well. And we're going to be doing a little panel at C2E2. I think it'll be on camera as well. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get it all out of the way. But, yo, my man Raj is in here as well, too. Let's fucking go, man. What the f Chrissy, holy, are you niggering me, Chrissy? <laughs> Chrissy, you got chill. All right, you know, I have the donations off specifically, so, you know, we could stay focused. But Chrissy just donated $100. Talking about keeping donations off is not going to keep me from paying my monthly Etika tax. Do you know how bad that sounds? You're trying to make me seem like some kind of fucking tax man out here? Like, come on, Chrissy, you got to chill with all that, man. You're going to give the new guys a bad impression of me. They're going to be thinking like, oh, man, you got to donate to make Etika happier. No, it's not about that. But Chrissy is fucking psychotic, and she always shows insane amounts of support for me and the stream. Thank you big time, Chrissy. I really do appreciate it. I, I, I wouldn't be able to get her to stop even if I tried, man. I don't want niggas to donate. No donations, no support, no help. But you niggas keep doing it anyways. It's fucking ridiculous. <sighs> I, I mean, it's a good problem to have, I suppose. But, I mean, come on, come on. Anyways, all right. We, we, we talked enough. We're here to focus right now. You know, I might miss some other cool peeps in the chat as well, too. But um, I'll be looking at the chats, both of them. So don't worry. If you're in here and you're here long enough, I'll be able to see you. Let's fucking do this, man. We're going to open up the game right now. Let's go to the 3DS and start it up, man. Let's fucking do it. All right, so let me turn the volume down a little bit. This shit is a little loud. Okay. Let me know how the volume is sounding on you guys' end, all right? Just, just keep me informed because I'm still trying to figure out how optimal the audio setting should be for this game because it's different from Awakening. It doesn't use the same volume levels, so it's kind of weird for me. But we're, we're going to do this, man. We're going to do this. Chrissy, once again, girl, you got to stop it. We have Ariel Green in here. We have Captain Carpenter. We have Amino. That's your name? Etika, prepared to get one of my prepared to get one of my favorite Conquest characters in the next chapter. Oh, excellent. Um, all right, and we actually do have someone who purchased a copy of the Red Robin shirt, man. Big thanks to this person. Let me pull their name up really quick. To... To Chandler John, who says, quote, It's super awesome that the shirt is here, and I'm excited to wear it. Thank you, Etika and Akai. Now... I, I, we made this a policy earlier on, but I need to remind you, maybe you forgot, but if anyone purchases the Red Robin shirt, you, you guys got to help me out, help that person out. Give us one of those swimsuit emotes. It's in the emote list if you open it up in the, in the um, chat window, and there's a, there's a swimsuit there. I'm, I'm going to find it myself, actually, so I can show you guys. Where is that swimsuit emote? Where is that swimsuit emote? Where is that shit at? Okay, wait, okay, found it, found it. Here we go. Bam. So that's the emo. If somebody purchases a shirt, I want to be able to hit them with one of those, man. Hit them with a swimsuit. Hit them with a swimsuit, man. That's the least I can do, man. That's the least I can do. It's the least Rob can do. It's the least Akai can do. It's the least Chat can do, man. Gotta give support out there, man. And we have a new sponsor joining the Spawns group, my friend. So we have two things to put out there. We gotta give him an emote of the swimsuit, and then we gotta give him an emote of one of these. I don't, I don't have to fucking explain this to you, do I? I hope I don't. No, I'm not going to. I'm not even going to entertain that thought. You already know what it is, my boys. Spawn's hype in the building. You niggas already know. It looks like I'm fucking throwing up deuce to bloods, but I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not part of a gang. I never was. I pretended like I was at one point to try to gain street cred because my school was in a fucking ghetto. But I mean, other than that, no, I was never in a gang. Um, big thank you to everybody who's shown the support. Jens Graham with a $100 donation. Okay, these girls need to be fucking stopped. All right, I'm, I'm serious. Chrissy, Jen, get the fuck away from your computers. Put the wallet down. 
put the fucking debit card on the table and back up, please. It's too much, yo. We, 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 okay, come on. Jen's Graham is a huge supporter of the channel, and she says Chrissy isn't alone. Plus, I need that Red Robin magic shirt, but no one has helped so far. Why no Denmark shipping? This fucking project did not go the way I thought it would with the whole shipping thing. Apparently, there's certain areas that they aren't going to be able to deliver to in the UK. I, I, or rather, not in the UK, I'm dumbass. I'm in Europe. It's fucked up. Jen, I'm going to look into it. I'm going to try to see if I can figure out a solution for that. So hold tight. We still have a long time until it ends. So if you are looking to buy the shirt, but it doesn't ship to you, I'm going to figure this shit out. So I'll let you dudes know later on in like a video. So there's a lot going on here. One thing I did do while the stream was um, off and you know I didn't do any missions of course obviously and just a little recap we managed to recruit Mozu who is apparently a villager with somewhat of the same tendencies as Donnie in Awakening but not to the same extent you know obviously aptitude was nerfed alongside with a lot of other things from Awakening but we do have Mozu regardless we recruited her no problem at all no death so far besides Felicia in the earlier chapters but she did come back so that's good um, and we have another new sponsor holy shit I didn't even see earlier, man. We have Tever Teverin? Teverin? What the fuck is that profile picture, my man? I don't know, but I mean, regardless, I do appreciate your support. I appreciate your presence. And you gotta you, you, you gotta hold one of these though, man. That's your responsibility as a sponsor. You gotta hold it. Every time I do one of these, man, you're gonna hold that, okay? In fact, I'll give you one right now, man. Right before we get into the meat and potatoes of the stream. I'm delaying because I'm really fucking nervous. But hey man, I'm I'm still gonna here, hold that shit. Hold that fucking shit. Take that. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Thank you very much for the support, man. Um, sponsor chat in the description. Anyway, so I kind of tried to equip everybody with some shit. And by the way, just giving you guys a heads up as well while I just describe where we currently are in the playthrough. Because I did a couple of things off camera. No battles. But new mail has arrived in your inbox. Your Dragon Vein points have increased. Select update data to receive the most re recent information. Okay, so something happened while we were off the game. I haven't really turned it on in a couple of hours now, so let's see what the fuck is going on. SP, hey, SFP Gaming here. What did, you, what did you say to me, dude? I gotta catch your post. You said something interesting. I fought your castle and I wrecked you so hard. Also, the next chapter will be hard as fuck. Listen, man. I'm fucking like, like, I just started, dude. Like, can you please be delicate with my asshole? Don't, like, spread my shit open, man. I'm not even ready, dude. We just started. Come on, man. I mean, be, be gentle with me. I don't know what this whole battling somebody online thing does to, like, their win record or whatever. But I don't want niggas to fucking take advantage of me, okay? Just, just chill for now. Um, we have... Oh, look at that, man. So much support already, dude. I, I talked about the shirt once and bam, we have people coming through. We have... We have another purchase of the Red Robin tea, man. We're going to be doing this swimsuit thing all day. I'm not going to have to turn that off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We have Justin Jones coming through, pieing a Red Robin tea. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have to give Justin some fucking swimsuits, man. Wow, my capture card bonks out on me. I have to remember to also put this in a decent position. Don't worry. If you're watching this after the fact, I'm going to have um, little time skips in the description like I have been doing to ensure... That people are able to skip to later parts in the video, highlights and whatever, so they don't have to look through all the, you know, chat interaction and whatnot. Because, you know, even though I know a lot of people get mad that I don't do gameplay right away whenever I start my stream, at the same time, a big part of the stream is interacting with you guys. And that's something I've always um, prided myself in doing. So, um, yo, hold on. got You know this capture card is borked, right? You know that shit. I gotta fucking fuck with this. Alright, so we got that bitch in. I gotta be gentle with it, man. Capture device not found. Oh, great. Fucking great. Is it really done this time? Alright, hold on. There we go. Fuck me. Okay, so... Yo, yo, okay, guys. I'm, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor here. We're, we're gonna have to concentrate on the stream, but I mean, if you wanna really do me a favor, we're gonna need a lot more swimsuits. We have more Red Robin shirt supporters in the building i wish i i wish this thing had your youtube names connected to your actual real names if you do buy a shirt from now on and you want to have your youtube name listed in your message please do that um we have uh, justin jones who said the least i can do to support one of my favorite youtubers in the last six plus years yo i've been doing this for a long time doing it as a job for the last three years but doing it as a hobby and thing something that i do for recreation for way longer man 
Thank you big time, Justin Jones. I wish I knew what your YouTube name was so I could shout you out in here. But either way, I really do appreciate it. And not just for my sake, but a Kai Riot as well, too. He's super excited about this. And, you know, he's really a nice guy. I mean, I don't know what kind of person I expected him to be beforehand, um, before talking to him. You know, since he was a hentai artist. I mean, I don't know. I never really met a hentai artist before, but Akai is definitely a cool person, dude. And then also we have Zachary Schoolcraft talking about new sponsor, Longtime Watcher. I love your shirt and I will always be happy to see a new Fire Emblem stream. Also some amazing work by Akai Riot, and please give that man credit. Be honest, he did most of the work. The man made the design. You know, all I did was just market it and, you know, put up the campaign page. So, I mean, I did some work too, but the design itself, clean as a fucking whistle. So, I mean, hey, big thank you to you, Zachary. I appreciate it a lot. The support goes a long way. And we also have another purchase from Bryson Gordy. So, I mean, already, you guys are showing insane amounts of support. The stream's been going on for 21 minutes, so we're about to get to business, dude. Just wanted to get these things out of the way. Bryson Gordy? Yo, my man Bryson, swimsuits. Hold on a minute. I don't see enough of those shits. I mean, I'm sorry. I I, I don't mean, I don't pressure. I don't I don't tell you niggas to do stuff for me unless, you know, really. But, I, I, I mean, if you ain't going to post the swimsuits, I'm going to post them, my nigga. I'm going to post them. I mean, I don't know about you dudes, man, but I was born and raised on 4chan. I'm used to spamming shit, man. I'm, 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 I'm gonna spam. It's my chat. I'm gonna spam the fuck out of this with them swimsuits, my boy. Take that shit. To the three of you, big thank you to you for supporting your boy's craft and supporting Akai Riot's craft. It really, really does help, man. I mean, and you guys can see right there. We're trying to be transparent. You see how much money the campaign is making so far. And, you know, that really is gonna help us out a lot, so... You know, we'll be able to do even more of what you guys love to see us do. So now, continuing onward while not trying to fuck up my capture card, we have to um, check out some of these updates. There's a lot of stuff that happened, man. As you can see, exclamation points are all over the goddamn map. All over the goddamn map. Wait, hold on. Shamlam says, ban Etika? Dude, I know, I, I shouldn't be spamming my own chat. That's kind of fucked up, but... All right, so which one should we do first here? There's a lot of things on the map. We have the private quarters, but I, I think I want to start saving the private quarters for later on. Um, we'll do this at the end because it's always fun to see the interactions of the party. But for now, let's see how these two are talking. Who the fuck are you? You know. Oh, oh, oh never mind. It's Mozu and Elise. Do you want to fight together? I'm a hard Check worker. Check out my skills. No problem. I'll be the best partner ever. You just wait and see. So do they get like a relationship huh? boost? Hey, Lord Corn, how goes it? I'm chilling. You are amazing today, brother. Yawn, I'm all tuckered out too. Elise, that can be taken as some crazy innuendo. Please, please chill. You're, you're lucky we're not actually blood related, but that's still fucked up. <laughs> and we have Moody here. Moody Pones talking about, I feel stronger than usual, and that's pretty damn strong. If I didn't explain this earlier, this girl Effie reminds me of Moody Pones so much. I don't know why. I mean, Moody doesn't even have white hair, but everything about the character and the pink armor, it just screams Moody in my opinion. Now, I don't know how I don't know if Moody can bench press um, boulders like Effie can, but you know, hey, that's just one little discrepancy. Now we also did something interesting off of camera. You niggas know who my favorite Fire Emblem character is. You you know who I fucking obsess over, right? My motherfucking boy, the pimp himself. We have Robin in the game. <laughs> my boy Robin. <laughs> Yo, he looks so cool. Robin is too cool for this game, dog. He's too cool! I can't deal with this nigga in the game, yo! But yo, man, you guys already know, I'm super, super excited whenever anything about Robin is brought up, right? So, the fact that we can actually have him in the game. I used his amiibo on my game from my new 3DS, and then I transferred it over. I didn't realize it would be so easy. But I didn't talk to him yet. I don't know why he's standing there, or what he'll do for us if we talk to him. So, we'll save that for later on as well, too. But let's get the regular stuff out of the way for now. Um, there's a couple more exclamation points on the map. Let's see what the deal is. We have someone else purchasing one of the Red Robin shirts, my man. The support is real out here, man. So much support. Man, first off, I mean, just Chrissy and Jen's gram. You guys are fucking insane. You better stay away from those wallets. I'm telling you, if you guys send me any more money, I'm going to come to your house personally and lock down your debit card, okay? I'll bring a key with me. I'll bring a, I'll bring a chain with me. I'm going to tie you to your chair. Throw your wallet in the bathtub and make sure you can't get to that motherfucker. That, that, that's what I'm going to do, okay? I don't care where you live, Jen. I don't care where you live, Christy. I'll come to your house and make sure that you are not able to give me any more money. Seriously. Um, and we have... Um, let me see. Whoa, oh, okay. So here we go. M more supporters, man. This is insane. 
All right, yeah, th okay, this is gonna get crazy. But we have, um, let me see here. More supporters, man, Bryson Gordy came through, and then we have the Novice Gamer, that Novice Gamer, I know that guy. I know him really well, actually. I, he, he's been around for quite a while. I'm buying the shirt because I need a way to support my boy and the great artist, the Kai Riot. Well, my friend, you're doing so just with that purchase. I appreciate it. He appreciates it. I'm hoping that I can get an interview going with him at some point, so that way we can, um... Who the fuck is this? Who are you, nigga? People running up in my castle, my boy? It, it looks exactly like me, so I mean, maybe it's some street pass thing. Probably a street pass thing. Private quarters. Um, and then we also have Zachary Schoolcraft with another purchase of another shirt. So my man bought two. You want my YouTube name? Strawberry West Cream, my boy. Bought myself another tea. Yo, man, you bought another tea just to leave another message? All right, that's going a little bit too far, my man. The support is so real on your end. Big thank you to you, Zachary. You know, people are really doing it big with this shirt thing. I didn't really think people would, you know, go for it as much as they are, but damn, apparently it's popular, so I'm glad about that. It's a good design, though. And at some point, I'll release the actual image file, so that way you can get this in full resolution. I didn't want to release it right away, but I will probably within a couple of days. Let's try this dust lottery thing out. See if we win anything good. You've won a consolation prize. All right, what's up? Crystal times two. I don't really know what any of these resources can really be used for. As you can see on the bottom screen, we got a couple of things down here. I don't know what their purpose is, though, so it's a little weird. But yo, man, big thank you to that novice gamer and Zachary Schoolcraft, a.k.a. Strawberry West Cream. I think I do remember seeing your name around as well, too, my friend. Big appreciation for that shit, man. Swimsuits. We're probably going to need swimsuits for the entire stream because... These things are endless right now. We just started this motherfucker and already people have bought like what? Five shirts? God damn. You know, it's a more expensive shirt than usual. I know that. Like, I mean, $22 for me at least, that's a high asking price. But the campaign page literally wouldn't let me make the price any lower due to the full color print, the digital print, the 16 inch long, 8 inch wide um, print on the shirt. Like, this shit is fucking massive, my man. Like, this is huge. Like, I'm a tall guy. Look how much space that takes up on me. And um, also for the back design, the back design that has my name and Akai's name on it, it, um, all that together, yeah, it said, yeah, your minimum has to be $22, so, oh well. So, you know, we're not going to make a ton of money off of it, but I mean, I just wanted to put a really cool product out there, you know? I think it's more meaningful to have the um, awesome shirt out than just the money itself. That means way more to me. Um, yo, so who should we invite to our room? I really feel weird about inviting someone like Arthur. Let's let's keep it tame for now. We're gonna this is okay, this is a little weird. <laughs> this is a little weird, but I mean okay, maybe it's good that they tone down the face touching a bit, but I'm still glad that they have this feature um in some way. Like if they had totally removed that, I would have been pissed, but they have it altered. But um hold on. We have another purchase, Robert. Robero Flowers saying, my fucking boy, Etika. More swimsuits. I wish I could have donated more. Don't worry about it, man. It ain't about the donations right now. I mean, if you got, if you wanted to get the shirt, which I always feel is better than a donation because you get something cool, then go for it. But um, salary's tight at the moment with the shitty job. Catch you in the sponsor chat as Mario single player. One love, fam. All right, I'm going to look out for your ass, man. Who should we talk to? Invite Arthur? Fuck it. Fine. Oh, I'm Arthur. happy to help any way I can. Allow me to defend you, my lord. Night and day, morning and night. English Untamed, joining the Spawns group. Along with those swimsuits. Let's get more fucking AOKs in that chat too. Let's get let's get let's get both of them. Swimsuits, keep these up. Swimsuits in this. If I look at the chat at one point and this I don't see a great. swimsuit, I don't see Next one of these, time, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> A distinct difference between justice and vengeance. Dude, I don't know what the deal is with this. Am I doing it right? It seems like there's something I should be doing in the room, besides the obvious, but I mean, like, it doesn't work. Why is Corin laid up like that in the bed, dude? That nigga's laid out. But yeah, English Untamed, big thank you to you, my friend. So now, who is this? It's Corin. So we can have people join into our uh, world randomly. Visit. 
check strength. Is this our character? I think this is our character, dude. Everything here looks very similar to what I have going on myself. Yeah, that's our character, man. Wait a minute, hold on a second. If I visit them, will it be my castle? Here comes the crimson ch Yeah, this is my castle, dude. How am I visiting my own castle? Here, take this back with you. Tell them where you got it. Yeah, you got it from me. This is my place. <laughs> the food in this castle is so super yummy. Want some? Yeah, I know you do. Thanks. Yeah, this is my place. Because I have it organized exactly like this. Alright. Alright, let's just get out of here for now. I really want to get to work. Yes. Nice layout. Good job. To me. Alright, so how do we get out of here now? We just run to an exit? More sponsors! One by the name of Bryson Gordy? Bryson. I told people to keep up with these, and I, I told them, you know, they need to prepare for you and other people like you coming on board, man. Thank you to Bryson um, Gordy for joining the Spawns group. We have those links in the description, my friend. You can join that chat. Always cool in that chat. And um, finally, we're going to check out some of these last things here. We're going to go to Lilith and give her some things to eat. I don't know what she does, per se, but okay. Let's just give her some meat. That looks damn good, man. If I had that in my house right now, man, I'd make you niggas a steak. I could do some nice shit. I did a lot. That was wonderful. Did you prepare it? Oh, Lilith knows, man. Lilith is aware of what I could do if I had a steak like that in my crib, man. I mentioned it beforehand, and now she's reciprocating it. I, I didn't prepare it, though. That shit was raw as fuck. That shit was fucking raw. But all right, we are out of here. So now we have done Lilith's um, feeding. So now the last thing we need to do here is interact with my boy, my motherfucking boy. I mean, Robin, like Robin is amazing, but I feel like Leo and Robin have a lot of similarities. They're different in some ways, but you know, even aesthetically, those two kind of have the same vibe. Yo, man, so many new purchasers of the goddamn Red Robin swimsuit tee god damn my niggas holy shit we have joshua okanas saying as a red robin myself i needed this also hentai with etika yo we, we gotta bring that back also those resources are for upgrading weapons really now if you touch them on the touch screen it says what they're for my dumbass big thank you to you joshua you're not joshua jjg are you well, regardless of what Josh you is, I appreciate you being in this bitch. Thank you very much. Enjoy the shirt. When it gets to you, you'll see the quality yourself. Asa Weinhardt says, my wallet is empty, but I found some couch change to help my boy. God damn, well, 20, $22 plus is house change to you? Couch change to you? Then uh, you got it me. I love your stream so much, and I'm not always happy, but you make me smile. And I'm a sponge, too. I love you so much. From Asa Wein Weinhardt. Go up, oh, Asa, thank you. Big time. I'm happy that I'm able to put some smiles on you dudes' faces, even though I don't really, I'm not really the fastest when it comes to gameplay. I know I kind of delay a bit, and maybe I make too much of uh, safe moves when I'm doing a battle, but if you guys are entertained, then I'm happy about it. Um, and then we also have Novice Gamer buying another shirt. Why buy one when I can have another one? I gotta keep the dollars flying. YouTube, name the Novice Gamer. Yo, man, I, <laughs> dudes are fucking crazy, man. Like, goddamn. And then we have another purchaser, Shayna Knight. I'm a big fan of Etika, and I thought, why not? Plus, I love watching his live streams. If you're playing Fire Emblem Fates, Etika, come visit my castle sometimes from Shayna Knight. You should have put your code in the um, in the message when you buy the shirt. I would have been able to definitely visit. But big thank you to all of these guys. Swimsuits, swimsuits, swimsuits. Jesus Christ. I'm probably going to have to... Can I turn off shirt purchases? Because, <laughs> oh my God. Um, okay, so you know what I'm going to do? When you guys buy a shirt... I'll, I'm not going to just stop my flow and read them, but I'll read them in increments of like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or something like that. So for now, we're just going to focus on the gameplay, but if you do buy a shirt in the meantime, 
I'm going to take time to read out everyone and to give you all the messages of thanks in the process. But for now, I'm just going to focus on the gameplay, but hopefully you understand. Um, so if you do buy it and I see it, I'm not ignoring it, but I will read it in like 20 minutes. So hopefully you're still around. Or you can just watch the VOD after the fact. But yo, let's hit up Robin, finally, and see what it is that he has to offer here in our game. Robin is going to wreck you from x -Dirum. Let's see what happens. Robin! <laughs> Robin! <laughs> I love Robin so much, man. This dude is so fucking cool. Oh my god, Robin is in the fucking game, yo. <laughs> Holy shit. Who are you? This isn't... Wait, where are... So he has no idea. He was just pulled... You, please, tell me where I am and how I got here. Wait, who am I? Um... That's actually a good question. I wish I knew. So he has amnesia just like in the beginning of Awakening? Oh wait, I got it. My name's Robin. I was a bit out of it just a second ago. I was in the middle of a battle, and I was launching the other fighters, or were they launching me? Well, this isn't the first time that I've stumbled into something in a daze. Believe it or not, I'm actually considered to be a pretty good tactician. Hey. You're damn right you are! <laughs> the tactician magician, my boy! <laughs> you're, the, you're the fucking master! You're the grand master, my boy, Robin! <laughs> Yo, I'm, why do I get so giddy when I'm around this dude, man? <laughs> Robin is so cool! Even now, this dude was transported to a world he doesn't even know what the fuck is going on, who anyone is, or how he got there, but he's still so smooth. He's like, well, I mean, hey, I'll just deal. But um, if you could give me some information, that'd be great. But um, I'm, th I'm this person. I used to do this. And, you know, he's so suave, man. Robin's always so cool. He's always playing it easy. It's like, okay, you know, I'll deal. And that's what you got to do when you're a tactician. You got to be able to be adjustable. You got to adapt to your surroundings. And if there's one thing we know Robin know how to do, it's adapt. My boy. Now tell me who you are. Well... Corn, I'll be sure to remember that. Thanks for picking me up off the ground here. Reminds me of a previous time. I really appreciate it. I should give you something for that. How about the thing I use when I devise new strategies? Or maybe this other thing. I don't know where I got it. What are you talking about? I've never seen it before. Well, at least I don't think so. Which gift do you want? The well-used gift or the mysterious gift? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. The poor guy Robin, he never knows where he's at. Yo. Fucking Robin hype. Robin hype, let's go. <laughs> um Robin hype, let's go. Let me see. I don't know. What mystery gift? Mystery? Everyone's saying mystery, yeah, that seems like the most logical choice to be honest with you. We need them tactician powers. Let's go. Mystery gift. Let's do it. You got the dragon's feather. Thank you. Did you hear his voice? They put voice? Oh, man. Well, thank you again for helping me to get my bearings, Corrin. How odd. I swear we've never met, but I feel some sort of kinship with you. Damn, he's even making... Look! Oh, my God! Robin, he's such a pimp! I mean, he's not a pimp in the tradition of, you know, using women and using, you know, people to get to places in life. But he's so smooth and so suave, he's starting to even put moves on the main character of our game. He's even throwing game at Corrin. He's like, how odd. I swear we've never met, but I feel some sort of kinship with you. Is nothing off limits, Robin? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this dude's trying to mac to everyone. I'm sorry. I told you, if he comes into this game, it's gonna be a fucking problem. He's going for the main character, for crying out loud, dude. Like, I mean... Robin, it, this is too much. <laughs> it's too fucking much, Robin. You gotta stop. We've said it before, and I'll say it again. Hashtag, stop pimping. Robin, please. Stop pimping! Jesus, I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't know how much more my heart can take of this, Robin. Yo, man. So many supporters coming through, buying. Um, okay, I'm gonna read these um, purchases in a bit. I, I gotta remember my policy. I'll read them in a bit, but we have some more people buying the shirt as well, too. Eric Price, Jalen Humphreys, and Vincent Chin. I'm gonna shout you guys out soon. But, anyways, I should set off. But I'd like to explore this world a little bit. Maybe I can learn something that will apply to my battle strategies. He's just gone? That's it? Well, what, what, what did he give us first off? Let me see. So what was that? Another purchaser of the Red Robin shirt we have, um... 
Um, Dean Grote, I'm gonna read you. I'm gonna read you out soon. I'm gonna read your message out soon. Give me a second. Um, Dragon Feather, and another supporter, Louis Guzman. Louis Guzman. Oh shit, Guzman. He told me his name was pronounced Guzman, not Guzman. Louis Guzman. I mean, Gu <laughs> anyways. Um, besides me fucking up, I don't know where. It's an accessory. I don't see it here. I don't know. Didn't expect that, did ya? I didn't expect Robin to give us some shit, but I don't know how to access it. Update castle. And by the way, just to... You have to build an accessory shop to get the feather. Okay. So we came through, spit a little game, gave us a really helpful item, and then bam. He'll be back to be more of a pimp. Okay. And we also have Carla Perez showing big time support buying a Red Robin shirt. Hold on, I'm gonna hit you all of you dudes up. All of you, hold on. But um, so now do we go to him. And by the way, you, if you guys wanted to know my um, castle address, you can just pause the game right now on this and you can visit me if you want to. It would be really cool if you do. I mean, cause I think there's re re rewards you get when people visit you, so if you niggas really want to come through to my motherfucking castle, that's the address. But, anyways, let's see here. There's a couple more things we need to do. Rewards. Visit bonuses. I don't know what... Alright, we had a lot of visitors. God damn, nigga. The Venge Naginata. Doubles weapon and might versus, um, during counterattacks. Jesus. The Venge Club. Doubles weapon. We can't even use any of these. Like, they're all A rank. We're super far away from getting A ranks. I think my guys are E and D right now. But this will definitely be helpful for later, that's for sure. Um, Venge Club. We're going to put that away. Spies Shuriken. Cannot perform follow up attacks. But it. What is it lower? For it to be that weak and to be an A rank with only a hit of 70 and avoidance minus 20, this thing must lower a lot of stats. Spies Yumi. Can't make follow up attacks. Okay. Dragon Spirit. This is a book. After use in combat, halves magic until wielder attacks. Interesting. So a lot of these weapons that we're seeing now have adverse effects. They don't give you just straight up super benefits the way that they did before in Awakening. There's usually uh, an Achilles heel to a lot of the benefits that these items have. Um, it'll be interesting to see what these things are right now though, but we can't use a lot of them. What was that thing that we had there that was, that looked like it sucked, but... The Spy Shuriken. What do you lower? I don't know. We just put the Sun's Fist out there. Um, oh my god! It lowers everything! Wow, what a weapon. Jesus fucking Christ. That's crazy. Well, we're nowhere near using it, so we'll have to wait. A big thank you to you guys, though, for, for coming through, man. Like Access to weapons like that will definitely help in a playthrough like this. Remember, we are playing permanent death. We're playing hard mode, so... It's pretty goddamn serious, man. Etika, please check your gifts. Let me see here. Let me just update the data again. So many supporters buying shirts, though, man. So while the data is updating, let me shout out some of you guys. We have um, we have Shayna Knight who said, "I'm a big fan of Etika, and I thought, why not? Plus, I love watching his live streams." Oh, she, oh yeah, I asked you to, well, I mean, too bad you didn't put your code there, but shout out to my boys, Johnny, he's a first time watcher, and Joe, who's a loser, for watching the stream. Thank you all for your content, Etika. You are the first and only streamer that I watch, and P.S. I left you a bath towel accessory in your castle. Oh my god! What the fuck? Niggas are hooking me up! Yo! Damn! Just now? A lot of niggas gave a lot of shit. Yo. This is crazy. Damn, thank you dudes. Holy shit. Niggas struck gold, man. We have enough bad towels for the whole goddamn party. What does this do? <laughs> so we're gonna take Zanza's here. Big thanks to you, Zanza. Let's see, this is... Wait, no, we have to go to your... We have to go to your world to receive it? Okay. 
Well, for now, I don't know what it does, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Anyways, we pretty much are set here for now. I'm just going to save the game here. And then we have um, Jalen Humphreys, who also bought himself a Red Robin shirt. Let's get a fucking swimsuit in here for that man. He says, I can't fit this. I'm a 3X guy, but I gotta support my nigga Ed again. One of the dopest artists around. Holy shit. God damn. Sorry, man. I mean, I know. We don't really have two larger sizes. I think it goes up to 2X, which is really not all that much. I didn't realize it would be so limited. So next time, I'm gonna try to make sure that the sizes go up a certain amount. But all right. So now, let's start the yes. mission, man. I'm ready. We're just gonna go to the next battle now. I think I'm ready. So the Dragon's Gate is for DLC, but the chapters, that's where we want to be. Um, we also have Vincent Chin who says, love your videos and support you 100%. Buying himself a Red Robin shirt. Well, big thank you to you, Vincent. You get one of them swimsuits, my man. The Spawn's chat's got your house. They, they got your back, man. Niggas are saying build a bathhouse? We can do that? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no, we can. The hot spring thing. And then um, we have Dean Groat who says, while buying a shirt, throws my money in fat stacks. Yo, listen, man. You're going to get some fat stacks back, my friend. Robin's got your back. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Big thank you to you, Dean. Swimsuit hype. Hey, what are you guzzling, Etika? I finally caught one of your streams live. Send my best regards to a Kai Riot. Yo, Luis Guzman. Thank you. Big time. And I ain't going to fuck up your name anymore. K Carla Perez. Also purchasing a shirt. No message. But still got a name. And I can still give you a thank you. Thank you, Carla. And then Hayden Brumley saying, Etika is one of my favorite YouTubers. And his happy hype personality is super contagious. And the streams are always a good time when we do progress, I guess, right? You know, we can go, we almost an hour in. We haven't even played the game yet. But I mean, thank you all for being patient with me. And big thank you to you, Hayden, for supporting Akai, Riot, and myself. I really do want to get him in here at some point so he can, you know, we can both talk and let you guys know how much we appreciate it. It's always cool to hear from the creators themselves when it comes to projects like this. I can say that because, you know, there's a lot of people that I support and it's always cool hearing them, you know, say their thank yous and, you know, show their appreciation for it. It's really cool. But all right. Guys, stop donating. Guys, don't donate any more money. It's it's um donations are off. They're off, guys. I'm, I, I'll, I guess I'll have to read them. Mr. Cubeman donated. We have Jamboree donating. Oh, my God. Dudes, donations are off. Please don't donate anymore, guys. This, this is goodness gracious me. All right, guys. We also had... Kid T82 and Hall. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Guys, please don't donate anymore. I don't I really don't want to miss your messages. I mean I'll have to shout these guys out who did, but I can't read them, okay? We're gonna concentrate. Alright? Hopefully you understand. But we're finally gonna do some progress here, okay? Mr. Cube Man says, fuck you, I do what I want in the sponsor chat. Come on, bro! <laughs> Please stop giving me money, man. I gotta, I gotta, I really wanna, I really don't wanna keep the people, because the people are gonna be pissed off at me after the fact. They're gonna be like, Etika, god damn it, keep fucking playing, don't stop. And they're gonna get mad, dude. I'm trying to keep the stream straightforward for those people, okay, man? Cube it, please. Um, Burr, it's much colder here than in the forest. The Ice Tribe lives up yes. to its name. Well, too true. The colder it gets, the closer we are. It won't be too long now. And she's from the Ice Tribe, so she already knows all this, right? We have the capture card fucking up on us. Big props to the capture card. My word, isn't this cold air marvelous? It really does put a spring in your right. step. Well, marvelous isn't exactly the word that I had in mind. I can hardly feel my fingers anymore, and they'll be frozen before long. Uh, whoa! Well, really, I'm sorry, my liege. I had no idea that you were suffering. Well, how about we try running? Maybe that'll warm you up. Come on, everyone. Let's run. Good what? idea, Felicia. She's so fast. Felicia, wait for me. And it's actually funny because she does have a really high speed stat. She has really high resistance too, doesn't she? I feel like there's a lot more resistance in this game. Like we have Felicia who can take a lot of magic attacks. Elise who's a Trobador. Trobadors could always take some magic hits, but hers still seems high to me. I think hers is like 14 right now. Lady Elise, slow down. You mustn't get ahead of the group. <gasps> They're gone. Well, this won't end well. You know it, Corrin. Whoa. Corrin's walking... Yeah, you're right. Arrow Flash 15. You make a perfect point. You make a perfect point, Arrow Flash. Look what this dude said. He said, Corrin, put on some fucking shoes. You're right. How the fuck... How the fuck this man... He's walking around in the snow barefoot. The snow's really coming down all of a sudden. Is everyone yes. okay? I believe so, but it looks like we've been separated from the others. So it's huh? just Corrin and Silas. Damn, you're right. We gotta find them and quickly. Everything will be fine. Don't worry, Corrin. Felicia knows the area well, so they'll be fine. 
Honestly, I'm more concerned about the two of us, yeah, because they have someone who knows the area in Felicia, but you niggas are kind of out here without a clue as to where the hell to go. We gotta keep pushing forward, though, before we freeze to death. Yes. And maybe get you some fucking boots while we're at it. Very true. We better hurry before the path Felicia showed us is covered in snow. Speaking of which, guys, speaking of bromance, my girlfriend, she recently bought herself a copy of Fire Emblem um, Conquest as well. She's playing the game too. But guess why she bought Conquest? My girl bought Conquest specifically just so she can have Corin engage in the um, relationship with the dude. I don't know his name or who he is, but... There's a dude, you know, you can have the, um, you can have the gay relationship. She's like, oh, I'm gonna have Corin get with the dude. And it's like, <laughs> she's so happy about that. And it's cool. It's funny. But I mean, I'm like, you sure you don't want to play as a girl? Like, you can experience a lot of options. And she's like, no, I already know what I want to do. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. It's so awesome that Fire Emblem is giving people that opportunity now, you know? I mean, way more open-minded of them. And I'm glad that they're taking that step forward. I mean, hopefully in the future they can give more. Because, you know, I would have liked it that she be able to engage more with other characters like that in the same way. But only one homosexual character in each game? I think you could have done a little bit better than that Fire Emblem team. But you know what? For the next game, maybe they'll get more comfortable with it and then give more options that way. I mean, some people may be like, you know, homophobic or whatever and be like, oh, I don't want that. But I mean, at the end of the day here... Anyone can be homophobic. I mean, excuse me. Anyone, yeah, anyone can be homophobic, but anyone can be homosexual. I mean, you know, and it's a, it's a brave new world out there, dude. So it's great that they're able to cater to as many people as possible. And this is an amazing start right here. So I mean, big props. Can we? Is there like a is there like a, a pride flag in the chat or something? Is there a pride flag in the chat or something to represent? Homosexuality? If there is, let me know, man. We got we to support my gay niggas, my gay sisters out there, okay? They, they need support, too, just the way anyone does. Anyways, it's freezing, and now the snow is so thick that I can hardly see anything. Felicia said that it gets colder the closer that you get to the Ice Tribe Village. We got to be on the right track then, right, Silas? Um, so it would seem. Yeah. Even Silas don't know. We got to carry on, but my mind is suddenly hazy. And I can't feel my legs. That sounds like hypothermia, my man. Probably gonna have to get them toes amputated. I'm so sorry. I don't know, man. You don't look it. I just feel a little... Wow. Are you kidding me? I think that's a really great representative of it. Yeah, we niggas have a fucking... Just how Twitch has Kappa Pride... YouTube has one, I guess, on the same level. They got rainbows in that YouTube chat, man. They got rainbows right there. That's that's awesome. I'm about to hit them rainbows up real quick. Where Where is it? Where is it? Where's the rainbow at? So many pages to this fucking shit. It's hard to navigate. Here we go. We got the rainbows right here, man. Rainbows right here. Although, I know that these two probably wish that they were in an area with rainbows because then they would mean it was warm and sunny. Not fucking cold and... Goddamn. All right, wait a minute. What did you say? Oh, what? Um, yeah, but Etika would probably want Elise and Felicia making out with each other and fucking each other and getting the lotion and jerking off, so you can't say shit. Well, Jake, that that was a pretty explicit message, but I mean, hey, I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't really get off too much on lesbian porn, but I mean, hey, whatever works, whatever works. <laughs> if, it, if it does the job, then whatever. Um. Are you sleepy? I'm suddenly so very... Oh my god. This fucking capture card, man. I'm suddenly so very sleepy. No way. Now, Corin, please stay with me. You must not fall asleep. I'll get up soon, Elise. Just five more minutes. Xander can wait. Oh, he's fucking tripping. That hypothermia in full effect, my nigga. Ugh. Corin? Corin? You. So we have the Ice Tribe probably coming on the scene. Never mind. Huh? Or is he? It's about to be a fight. Never mind. I thought it was. It's over. Coin, thank goodness. For a while there, I thought huh? I'd lost you. Well, what happened? I remember falling, and then everything went black. And more importantly, where the fuck Welcome. are we? You're safe now, young traveler. His name is Kilma. Welcome to my village. I'm Kilma, the leader of the Ice Tribe. Thank you. Well, thank you for your kindness. It would seem that you saved my life. 
My name is Corin, and I'm the second prince of the kingdom of- Oh! Oh lord, Corin almost got these niggas fucked up. I'm glad Silas was on point. Because they would have gotten their dicks chopped off. You should rest. Now. You've had a long day. <laughs> Silas saved your fucking boy. Silas fucking pulled a save right there, man. Jesus Christ. So many shirt supporters. God damn, niggas. Um, okay, give me a second. There's something the matter. You're the, you're the prince of who? My apologies, Kilmer. Ro Corin just woke up and his mind is still foggy. Not Robin. Perhaps you- Oh my god, are you kidding me? This capture card is really gonna give me a fucking seizure, man. Not a seizure, a heart attack. Or a stroke, rather. I'm all the stress that this thing is giving me. Perhaps you would allow him to rest a bit more before we resume the introductions. Yeah, okay. He's suspicious. I'll go prepare something warm to drink. Please excuse me. Well, Silas, what was all that about? I feel fine. <sighs> well, don't forget yourself, my lord. It could prove deadly. Corin, man, you gotta stop that naivete, my friend. You almost got your you almost got your asses killed. Listen, I forgot that all this is new to you, but don't forget we came here to suppress a rebellion. That means that the Ice Tribe is disgruntled with the actions of the Kingdom of Nor. In other words, we're their enemy. To identify yourself as a Norian prince, especially while in a weakened state? It's simply a bad idea, old friend. <laughs> Damn right. Oh. Sound advice, Silas. You're right. I kind of Careful forgot myself for a moment. Well, understandable for one who barely made it back to the land of the living. But we have to exercise caution or neither of us will ever see home again. Yeah. There's such a fine line between friend and foe, war and peace, and it's all so great. <sighs> such is the world we live in, I'm afraid. I gotta say, though, you truly have a remarkable knack for getting into trouble. Undoubtedly so, man. We have a new sponsor by the name of Mamaru. Mamaru, I don't know how I say it. I just said it the, um, the otaku way, but hold this. And we got the benefits in the description. Please check those out. Join the spawns group. It's really fun in there. Even got a Discord going on. It was fun. I was in the spawns group's Discord the other day. Talking to everybody, you know, it's something. You see the sponsors in the chat. When I was talking to them, it was like a whole nother, whole nother fucking story right there, man. It was fun as hell. Big shout out to the sponsor group. I have to say, you have a remarkable knack for getting into trouble. I never thought that this is how we'd breach the village. What should we do now? <laughs> a fresh pot of hot tea as you promised. This should help you clear your head. <laughs> Thank you very much. But you know... I usually would not allow strangers into my village like this. However, I made an exception for you two. It's that sword that you carry, Corin, and that 3DS capture card that's always fucking up on you. That golden blade looks just like that of the Hero of Legend. It is said that the one who wields that blade is destined to save the world. Mayato, a legendary sword. It's a yeah. nice thought. As, a, as you can imagine, I simply couldn't abandon you after I saw that blade, so niggas are about to steal it? Who knows? Maybe you're the hero that our world has been searching for. If so, there's a chance that we will one day break free from those cruel Norians. If you'll excuse me. I believe that I babbled on about the Ice Tribe legends long enough. Ah, it looks like my daughter has finally arrived. Please allow me to introduce you. Um... Uh-oh. And I shall. What are you doing here, my leech? Oh, no. My leech! This ain't good! Wow. Oh, Elise is here! We're in trouble. Elise. Thank goodness! What a relief. I was so worried once I realized that we had gotten separated. Uh, whoa! Flora, what are you doing here? You told me that we were going to hold down the fort while I was gone. Alicia. I changed my mind. Why did you and the others follow me no. here? Follow you? I didn't even know that you were even here in you the first place. Know it. Yeah, that's right. We got here all by ourselves. We can't go back until we suppress the Ice Tribe Rebellion like Father ordered, Elise. Oh my god. This girl is... Oh my god. Well, niggas are gonna... Niggas are gonna die now. Niggas are gonna die now. <gasps> oh my god, Elise. Please. 
3DS, please. <laughs> Jesus. It's, it's over now. It's over now. Someone said Elise is too pure. Yeah, she's pure. Right? Uh. Pure stupid. <laughs> Jesus. Guitar Master 7 GMX 7. Joining the Spawns group. Welcome to the Spawns chat, my man. Get yourself a seat and some popcorn, because shit is about to get fucking crazy. Thanks to silly little Elise fucking things up. Oh my god, she said, we're here to stop the Ice Tribe's Rebellion, just like Father ordered. Like, god damn it, Elise. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? It's not a secret. Wait, doesn't suppress mean, you know, that we ask them to please stop rebelling and then maybe eat dinner together? Ah. Elise, you don't understand. It's not that easy. I see. All has become clear as ice. Please stop with the fucking puns. You monsters tricked me into helping you so you could infiltrate my village. No. But I promise you, that wasn't our intention. But don't play dumb with me. Such childish games do not befit a prince, even one of Nor. I know how you Norians operate. So be it. Flora, you know what's gotta be done. Yes, father, I will sound the alarm right away. But Flora, aren't you on our team? The Norians have infiltrated our village and they gotta be expelled immediately. And permanently. What? Uh. Oh no. Dear sister, you've always been ignorant to the ways of the Norians. War is their only language that they understand. Side with them and you'll pray, pay the price. That could have gone better. Be on your guard, Corrin. Here we go. Fight time. Fight time. Kilma's about to kill us. So here we go, man. We are in a battle right now. An hour into the stream, and it's time to get to business. But, um, Guitar Master, we got the sponsor benefits in the description, my friend. Thank you for joining on board. Shit is about to get hairy, my friend. Hope you're ready. Hope the whole chat is ready. Okay. So let's see here. What are we dealing with? We have Tribalist as Dark Mages. And we have some skills on deck as well, too, man. How in the fuck are we going to win this? Defeat the boss. That's the goal here, huh? But to be honest with you, considering how valuable experience points are, defeating him is a priority, but it isn't the only thing we need to focus on. We need to actually see how we're going to kill all these other guys as well. Now, the benefit. Their attack is only 15. The disbenefit, however, is that our resistance of our entire party is somewhat questionable. Obviously, Silas here ain't going to be taking that many magic attacks, along with Effie. But, we do have some kind of people to take magic, in the sense of Elise and Felicia. Just looking at their resistance being 13, I mean, excuse me, 14 and 15, respectively, a lot of these guys aren't going to be able to do much. We have Flora here. Ignore the houses. Flora, huh? What can you do, my girl? I don't know. Don't kill Flora. Do we have to talk to her? Do we have to talk to her? We have houses as well, too. A lot of them. Let me look at this from a bigger perspective. Okay, so... Let's view the map for now. Um, danger zone on. Let's see. Who's going to move towards us in this situation? We. This, don't, this doesn't look too bad. Tribalist. So let's look at skills now. Let's see who has something that can fuck with us. No poison, please. I, I, I think that's only faceless, though. I, th I think that's only faceless. Try to get at least two houses, my boy. I'll try. Do reinforcements come in on this chapter? Can you guys let me know? Reinforcements at all? What is this? Malefic Aura. Enemies within two spaces take plus two damage when hit by a magic attack. That's not fucking good. That's not fucking good. A tribalist. Yes, reinforcements come through. From the houses. Oh, nigger me in the asshole. Go left, don't go around. Shit. Okay. This is gonna be... Hmm. A fuck ton of reinforcements, huh? Alright. So 
So the goal is to kill that dude, right? Reinforcements, huh? Reinforcements. That doesn't sound good. Alright, so what is this? If we go here, what will happen? We'll just plug it up. Let's choose our units. Mozu, yeah, you're gonna be left sitting there. Hmm, okay. So I'm thinking we should just move up, just like this. If the reinforcements truly do come from the houses, then moving to the left will probably be the best route for us. This is a plane. Alright. Let's play careful, man. It's pretty much the only thing we can do is just to speculate. Um, do we really want to leave Mozu behind, though? She could get some experience points from this in a dangerous way. Attack is 15. You're really going to have to play this one careful. But as long as we go in there and we play smart, let's see what your attack is. No skills here except for you. That's a dangerous skill right there, though. Alright, for now, let's just start it up. I mean, we pretty much have all of our units. We can speculate as we go along, but let's just start it up. Kilma. The time has come to defeat the Norian army. Inform the villagers. Careful out there! It sounds like Kilma is dead set on calling in reinforcements from the village. Maybe if we get to them first, we can dissuade them from fighting. Visit the villagers' houses to earn a reward once the battle has concluded. Visit at least three out of the five homes to earn the best reward. Okay. Visit three out of the five homes. Reinforcements will be coming out of the villages. The question about this is how often will those reinforcements be coming out? And what units are going to move what amount of spaces? This is the question. Now, obviously, the movement range of most of them is probably going to be three to five spaces. But will there be Pegasus Knights coming out of that bitch? Probably not. But we still need to make sure, like, who's going to move, basically? That's my question. So for now, we're obviously going to take this village here. We're going to move Effie here. Visit that bitch. Whoa, a soldier! What's going on? What? Don't leave my house today? Well, if you say so, I'll tell my family. Thank you. Thank you, my little nigga. Violin on point. It fits the chill background. You're damn right it does. By the way, we're gonna have to get some more swimsuits in the goddamn chat. Okay, swimsuit time, guys. I'm gonna shout out everybody that bought a shirt just now. Um, swimsuit time. Let me see here. One shirt bought from Dennis Yaprak. Saying Etika is cool. That's basically it. Well, big thank you to you, Dennis. Anne Marie Zeser saying, Hey, Etika, the shirt is cute and it has a great resolution. And can you do me a huge favor? Visit my castle. I'll visit you. And add my friend code. I'll add your friend code if you can. Also, marry Effie. She's a machine from Anne Marie Zeser. And I like Effie a lot. I like her a lot. So we'll see. You know, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see with time. You know, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, we, it's too early at this point. Although I do like her. And then we also have Kyle Mitchell saying, I have no fucking idea how I'm going to wear this in public, but I think of something. Don't kill Felicia, my boy. You know Felicia ain't dying. She's a fucking MVP right now. She definitely won't be going out. Big thank you to you, Kyle Mitchell. I don't know if you're a sponsor or not, but I do appreciate it. And also we have Matt Swearingen saying, I love your videos, Etika. You're the best. And props to Akai. Thank you. Everyone who bought a shirt today. Thank you all so much, man. Swimsuit hype in the building. Pretty soon, you'll have Red Robin joining you on top of your chest. And it'll be a good time. Trust me. I know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's continue this. So we... So now, which way should we go? Obviously, this is looking like the more dangerous path, to be honest with you. I don't want to fuck with that many magic units, but the magic units are kind of scary. So we'll have to see. I'm Captain Carnage. Sponsoring. Captain Carnage, hold this shit. Take it. That's yours now. I do that a lot more often now, but it still means the same thing. Big thank you to you, my friend. We have the benefits in the description. Join the spawns chat, man. It's, it's really fucking cool in there. Also cool at giving me tips, too. But all right. Who's going to move? That's my question. Oh, we have... 
Melt the ice to make a lake for one turn. What would that do to these guys? What would that do? This is a plane. I'm curious to see what that would do. We won't be able to pass this? Or will we? We will. Okay. So who's going to move at us? I wonder. You know what? I, I kind of feel a little bit ballsy. Let's go for the top. Let's go for the top. Fuck it. But I do want to put my Maho units in front. Separate there. Now, um, we're going to have Arthur come through. Pair with Elise. Move up. Elise and Felicia are going to be very integral to this whole thing. How soon will those reinforcements come out, I wonder? I wonder how soon they'll come out. Maybe I should have played that a little bit safer, but we'll see. Oh my god. The darkness Holy whispers. nigger. Who the fuck is that? The darkness is calling, whispering, and seething. It's saying something. Ah, I understand. The shadows within say our foes are unwitting yet dangerous. So it has been decided by the treacherous hand of fate, we have no choice. We must use the darkness swarming inside me to claim the golden glow of victory. <sighs> You're a damn weirdo, Odin, but you know that, don't you? In any case, I'm not going to let you take all the glory for yourself. Now, what's going on over there, and who are you? <laughs> Didn't you hear me? That's Odin. Um, about the darkness. God damn, some people are so rude. Well, it can't be helped. Who am I, you ask? I am Odin Dark. Odin Dark? This nigga is extravagant. Okay. <laughs> I'm the keeper of the darkness, chosen protector of the youngest Norian prince. So you're Leo's retainer, and he sent you here to help yes. me. Yeah, that would be the sane version of what Odin just said. My name is Niles. By royal decree of Lord Leo, I'm here to serve you. Serve me? I would rather you fight at my side as a friend and equal. Whoa, whoa! But don't worry about Niles. He's always like this. I suspect he's bitter, and I suspect he's bitter that the dark spirits chose to inhabit me and not him. But back to the matter at hand. Don't be afraid, Lord Corrin. I will now use my powers to expel those who wronged you from this world. You better do it fast, because we kind of got a lot of niggas up there, and they all got their spears pointed towards Elise. Ah, the power. My fell hand awakens, and it longs for the blood of our foes. I must annihilate them all, or the curse will surely... Alright, take it easy. Yeah, I know, he's going on for a while now. Take it easy. We have um, MoCats11 talking about, yo, Spawn's group. What's going on, MoCats? Big thank you to you, my friend. Um, the benefits are in the description. Please pray for me, because I'm feeling really nervous right now. Mm -hmm. Wait, why? But my sword, the curse, what's the holdup? Uh -huh. Is there a problem? When can we start inflicting pain? Well, well no offense, but I mean, I'm happy you came to help and all, but you're creeping me out. And besides, I would like to settle this dispute with as little bloodshed as possible. Mm. So we can inflict pain as long as it doesn't cause bloodshed. Interesting challenge. What? But I prepared at least a dozen torturous moves just for today. I named them all too. They might be my best so names yet. Sorry. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm going to have to put my foot down. As you wish. Well, if it's an order for my liege's royal sibling, I'm obliged to obey. I may appear to be somewhat despicable, but I have the utmost loyalty for Lord Leo. Okay. I, too, am a bastion of loyalty, despite the dark forces that beckon me from beyond. <laughs> It'll be hard to hold back my true power, but for you, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, gentlemen. Now let's finish this quickly. Oh Lord, have fucking mercy. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad news. This is bad news. We're gonna have to run the fuck out of here. Thank God the reinforcements don't act on the first fucking turn. Otherwise, we'd be fucked in the ass. But really, to be honest with you, I think we're kind of fucked right now. How in the hell are we gonna do this? What are your skills? Malefic Aura. If they acted on the same turn, we would have been dead, dog. Check Odin's skill. Odin. Interesting character. Aching blood. Crit plus 10 when using a, char a custom weapon with a name at least 12 characters long. Are you fucking kidding me? 
What kind of a skill is that? When using a custom weapon with a name at least 12 characters long. What kind of character is this? <laughs> this dude is ridiculous. <laughs> he really gets off on names. Odin, huh? <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> Wait, what's his other skill? Heart Seeker. Adjacent enemies suffer 9 to 20 avoidance. That's actually really, really good. What's this? Kidnap. Grants capture command if the castle has a prison. Imprisoned defeat... Imprisons defeated foes. Weird. Outlaw, huh? He's an outlaw? Norian. A rogue able to pick any lock. Uses bows and has high speed and resistance. Weird. But interesting. Niles is his name? And he's a dark mage. Well, we're gonna have to... Oh, man. Clearly, we're in trouble. We've got trouble. You're goddamn right we do. This is bad news, my man. So, let's see here. What are our options? Can we kill? You have defense of 5. I've got speed of 17. You've got speed of 5. We can definitely double attack and finish you off with one of our guys here. The, the, the biggest concern I honestly have is... Let me see. Would we be able to... We wouldn't be able to take out all of them on the same turn. It would be too much. We wouldn't be able to do that. I mean, we can get sort of close, but it wouldn't be enough. Let me see here. Obviously, it seems like retreat is going to have to be our option. The Dark Mages can move five spaces while the... Um, what, what's this? Quick draw. Unit deals plus four damage when initiating combat. Yeah. That's bad. That's bad. And plus, these guys have attack stance out the ass with the formation that they currently are using. They'll be able to attack the shit out of us. So let's see here. Uh, let, let me see. What can we do? How much would you be able to do, Corrin? You'll be able to take out somebody. So Corrin has a guaranteed finish on taking out certain enemies. He'll be able to kill someone. Felicia would be able to kill someone. And she has Sizo Star, which raises everyone's strength who's next to her right now. That's actually really good. She raises their strength by how much? By four. We have Arthur here. We could have Felicia take out her. Arthur... Well, no, no. Um, Arthur could use his hand axe after getting that plus bonus to take out this guy. You got the double attack as well too. It's a little inaccurate though for my liking. This is, this is a little too risky. What is your movement range? We have that Maho unit back there. Not good. But the attack is only 15. With Thunder off of only 15 attack, one of us would be able to take one of these guys' hits. It would just be these dudes that are the main concern. We wouldn't really be able to get a kill on them now, would we? Hmm, okay. Maybe this isn't as bad as I thought. The thing is, is that their speed sucks. So we can definitely get a kill here if we really, really, really wanted to. We have Silas. He can get a guaranteed kill. Arthur can get a guaranteed kill off of that guy. Okay, so let me, let me map this out. Silas, you can kill her. Yes. Arthur. Wait, no, 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 no. Felicia. You can kill her. Arthur. You can kill him. Corin. You can kill him. Alright, so we have a guaranteed kill on four of these guys. Four of them. That's still not enough. Because these four will die, but they'll still get the double attack themselves. And the double attack will be able to fuck someone's day up. Namely, Felicia's. Her defense is actually 11, though? With 11 defense, it's actually better off than I thought initially. Attack is 16. So... 11 defense off 16, that's 5 damage. You'll be able to do 15 to Felicia, who has um, 14 resistance. That won't do shit. Felicia will not take any damage from you. Nor will she take any damage from... Not too much damage from him. 
If you really go to take one of them out, resistance is 5. But your defense is decently high. Alright, we're really going to have to hope and bank that we can take... But then you have you too. No, no, we counted you already. Ah, attack stance. Yeah, definitely. Attack stance is definitely going to have to be what we do. Felicia is good against magic users. Would have been better if you had a ninja. Yeah, I know. Definitely would have. But this is fine. Because one thing we can do now, we can start fucking niggas up. We can head in there with Arthur's axe. Not too good on the accuracy part there, my man. I don't know. That dude is a little bit of a problem, isn't he? The magic units, I'm really not too concerned with, however. I wish Arthur was higher up. I should have kept Arthur next to Felicia, so that way Sizo Star could do more. But, hmm. Who's the biggest threat? Who's the least threat, to be honest? Who has the least amount of threat to us? Who has the lowest attack? It's you. So we shouldn't concentrate on killing you, because you're not going to be able to do anything to us. It's these guys who might be the problem. So you know what? We'll leave your weak ass alone. Actually, no. Enemies within two spaces take plus two damage when hit by a magic attack. That's not good. So your attack is 15, basically. Alright. We have Effie down here. If only we had Effie up there. Alright, let me see. We could do something interesting, maybe, and transfer over. No, 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 that wouldn't work. Just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. Or we could retreat. We could try to retreat and set up a better formation. But at this point, I feel like if we pull out... Oh, hold on, guys. Give me a second. I'm trying to think here. Restart, Etika? No, no, no. No, we're good. I just want to make sure this will work. this will work out. So if we spare you... But we kill everyone else. We should be all right. Magic is not too good on these guys. Plus, you get extra magic damage. But um, mm, no, 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 no. We can't spare you because then we'll have double attack here. Yeah, or maybe we should retreat. Anyways, yeah, we should probably retreat. That'll be the smarter thing because retreating basically means that we'll have extra attack power now from these guys. Moving back would give them the opportunity to do so. Yep, time to retreat. That's the best strategy. This is going to be too risky. We won't be able to kill enough of them. One, two, three, four. We'll only be able to get four kills, and there'll still be two units left. Not good. Time to yeah, time to retreat. So we're going to put our units that can't really move that fast with units that can move fast and get these niggas the fuck out of here. So Arthur, you're going to pair up over here. Here we go. It's time to move back. Fall the fuck back, my nigga. In fact, we're going to put you here. Separate down. There we go. There we go. Everyone move the fuck back. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up, everyone. Yeah. Get the fuck out of there. Back up, back up, back up. Separate. We'll be able to do way more with a strategy like this. Once we regroup with everyone. But right now, just dealing with everyone together won't be a good idea. Gotta play it safe after all. Alright. Niles, right? You're gonna wait there, Niles. Gonna back up here. You wait there, Odin. And Effie. For now. Stay there. Let him come through. Taking a little while, aren't they? So they're not all rushing in? Weird. But I guess they're trying to play a little bit smarter. That's fine with me. Trying to bait us, huh? Let them come in, though. What, there's three of you niggas. How many of you niggas? Wait, they're trying to play a little smart on us, aren't they? Alright, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to try to play a little interesting here, then. If we have a unit attack from here, who will be able to hit her? You will. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to turn the danger zone off for now. You'll be able to hit her. Because I know they'll all be able to hit to an extent. Okay, so let's see. Would you be able to hit her? No, you wouldn't. 
but we be able to have three niggas come through. But with their attack being 15, their attack is 15. Felicia's a de um, resistance is 14. We're literally going to be okay here. But the thing I'm worried about a bit is this skill. You take plus two magic damage, but even if we take plus two, yeah, it's, it's fine. We're not going to have to worry about shit. So for now, let's move Felicia into the range. This seems a little crazy, but I'm not worried because Felicia will be able to literally sponge everything, everything without a problem. Yeah, this is fine, man. So you know what, Felicia? Bring that ass here, my girl. It's time to put in some work, Felicia. You're going to have to do your job. That fighter or whatever, whatever that dude is, tribalist, he's not going to be able to do anything to Felicia this turn since they'll be approaching while the magic units will be able to try to come through. Her resistance is so good that we won't even have to worry about these magic guys. 15, we'll take one damage. 15, we'll take one damage. We won't take shit from you. Go in. Felicia, it's time to eat. Flame Shuriken. Now, I'm worried that that won't hit. So I'm going to add someone there with her just so she can um, take the hit. Although, your resistance is 12, Corrin. You'll be able to take all those hits too, my man. So yeah, go for it. Wait there. Go with Felicia. Switch him out. Flame Shuriken, 100%. Go for it. Damn, that shit is strong. Jesus. Let's go, guys. There we go. Now, they're the only ones in the danger zone. This is fine. And now we can prepare ourselves for this bullshit. What's your movement range? Let's wait down here. Let's have niggas park on the outside, just to be safe. Because they're probably going to get them dead before they come up here. So yeah, that's fine. And um, Arthur, you stay there. Silas, stay there. Literally time to wait it out. Excellent. Go for it. Come through. What? They're coming for the double attack. Weird, you didn't attack me? Weird, you didn't attack me. Why didn't you attack me? so interesting. So strange. Well, if you're not going to attack me, then I'll just have to attack you. But we got to be careful of these dudes down here. Obviously, they're trying to put in some work against us. So, should we finish you off and then start putting our units down? I don't know. Turn off the danger zone for now. We know you guys are on approaching, so we're going to leave that alone. And we're going to highlight you dudes. Let's see what your range is. Okay, you'll be able to fucking roll in. They're trying to play really smart on us, and that's kind of scary. Being real with you, like, the, the CPU is now using, like, more advanced tactics. I want my capture card doing its best to try to fuck me in the ass. But they're trying to do some advanced shit on us. Well, as long as that tribalist is kept at bay, we should be alright. Keep the tribalist at bay. You don't have to worry about anything with the magic units. That's probably why they fucking didn't attack us. You have this dude, though. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to go for the attack here. I don't, I don't fuck with that. Let the magic niggas come down. Let them come down. Let them come down. Wait, wait, hold on. Where can you move, though? Because now you guys are kind of looking a little bit threatening as well. Um, maybe it's better that we retreat now. Now we pull back. We set everyone up. You can move how many spaces? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. You're on planes now. One, two, three, four. Five. You'll be able to attack a lot around here. One, two, three, four, five. This whole thing will be a danger zone in itself. So we're going to have to pull out a bit. Yeah, we're going to have to pull out a bit more. Just a bit. Just a bit. Actually, we're probably going to have to take someone out. Or maybe we move all of our units up. 
Yeah, maybe moving them up would be the smarter strategy. Will we be able to take these guys out, though? Probably not. Let me see here. Niles, what, what are you capable of, my man? Not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. Not damn. He, not too bad in the slightest. God damn, Niles. All right. So now we have more options than I thought we did. We'll be able to do a lot more damage than initially expected. Let's fucking rush in. As long as we keep these guys at bay. We know what they're capable of. Alright. So we're going to have to try to do a wipeout here. How possible is that shit? Very, I would say. Gonna go for the attack here. Two hits. Those will definitely get him. Oh, shit. You can definitely move in. All right, so we're gonna. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do something kind of crazy here, but I think it could work. This could definitely work. So first and foremost, we're going to send Corrin up to fuck up a nigga. So do that. Two hits with the Norian blade, my man. Dragonstone wouldn't be able to give us two hits, even though it would give us more defense. But this is okay. Wait a minute, hold on, no, 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 wait, wait, because he's gonna. Oh yeah, okay, he's gonna need to. Shit. You know, I'm not too worried about Felicia, though, so why don't, she, why don't we send her up there? Uh. Hmm. Or we could have this dude, Odin, come through, but I don't know what he's capable of right now. Yeah, Felicia, we should just have her come through and just fuck this dude up. Would he really be able to do much to us on this turn? No, not really. Yeah, so Felicia, go in. You better. You better get that. Actually, no, no. Too risky. We're gonna have... It's risky, but... I mean, it's 91%. Could it miss? Yeah. It definitely could. Attack is 23. We'll take some damage. Go for it. Don't miss, Felicia. We'll have to use a rescue on you if you miss. Nope, you're good. Good job. Excellent. Finally some progress on this bitch. Next. Corin. Norian Blade, Dual Katana. Dragonstone ain't gonna do that much because our magic attack ain't all that high, but. Norian Blade. It would raise our defense, wouldn't it? So, yeah, fuck it. Just keep the Norian Blade, anyways. This ends now. There we go. Take him out. Take him out. Run, I bitch. <laughs> Good job. This is my chance. Excellent. Yeah, we're okay. I mean, you'll do a little bit more damage to us than we want, but it's fine at this point. Now, interestingly, we have a lot of movement here with um, Silas, but it won't be too beneficial if we do that. This person's definitely going to have to die, though. So why don't we have oh um, Niles come through? We're gonna just move everyone up this time. No, 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 he can't. Okay, that's fine. Twelve. You ain't gonna do shit. I'll be your shield. Effie. Knock it off. There we go. Now you're gonna attack us, but you're probably gonna miss. We're gonna do very little. Lord Taco. Lord Taco. Welcome to the Spawns group. Big thank you to you, you Lord Taco. I actually kind of recognize your name, though. I think I've seen you in the chat before. Big appreciation for that. And now we'll be ready for these guys down here. So for now, we are going to move Odin completely in. There we go. Now we're fucking ready here. There's going to be three of these niggas, though. So you know what? Let's just keep moving it up. Let's keep that stiff upper lip. Actually, we're going to need Felicia down here, aren't we? We're going to need Felicia down here big time. So you know what? 
I want to use the rescue on her now, but that don't look like too smart of a thing to do. We can bring, um... It's kind of going to be a little foolish to use our rescue just to bring someone down here. But... Felicia's going to be necessary in this bitch. You know what? We're playing Conquest, my man. Rescue. We're playing Conquest, my man. Corin, I ain't even worried about that nigga. He's fine. Alright, excellent. And now, um, I think we're good. Let's wait it out. Go ahead, try. Excellent. We got him lined up. Perfect. So now we still do need to actively take on these uh, houses. Probably just going to have to go for the one to the side for now. But that's okay. So Corin, why don't you... Because you're, you're, what's your damage range? Alright, we'll totally be out of it. So, Corin, why don't you come down here and help us out? Yeah, come down here and help us out, Corin. Meanwhile, we can have Felicia come through. F.E. Um, Alright, so Felicia, you're going to be here. You're going to kill that fucker. With the flame shuriken. What'll that do? What, what's that thing's effects? Magic in the front. Okay, that's fine. There we go, Felicia. Go for it. She's so useful. She's super, super useful. Ain't gonna do shit to us. She's fine. No damage, bitch. You ain't got enough attack power for that. That went well. You ain't got enough attack power for that. Next. I wanna do something with Arthur, man. Let's do something a little freaky with Arthur. Ain't gonna be able to do enough with Felicia. Oh, we, we will, we actually. We will. Unless he miss. A little dangerous. We don't want the double. So let's actually just obliterate someone right now. It's probably the better option. Let's obliterate with my man Niles here. Two hits. Not that much damage at all, rather. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is fine then. Go for it. Niles, let's do it. Let's do this. Me off let's go. Good job, Niles. That boy's fed up. Great, and now we can do something with Odin here. Let's see what you're capable of, my man. Not too much, actually, oddly enough. But that's fine. Let me see, what level are you, Odin? Okay, he's level 5. He definitely needs the experience points. So why don't we pair him up with someone really, really tough? What is your resistance, however? Seven? You're going to take a lot of damage here. But, that is alright. We're going to move you here with Effie. Actually, um... Yeah, we're going to move you here with Effie. Wait there, Odin. Still ain't going to do all that much. Kind of lacking, Odin. Like my capture cards lacking. Really don't want Silas to come out, come through and have to clean up. Really don't want that. Oh, I know what I could do. Odin, go up there with Felicia. Still don't do enough. Shit, nigga. My nigga, come on. Hmm, Odin. Come on, man. Kind of lacking on me, my man. I'm... God damn it. Alright, fine. Fuck it. This will do the job. A little bit shaky accuracy, however. Weaken him with Silas. Yeah, I guess I could do that. And then have Odin come through after the fact. Iron sword it up. Alright, Silas, just take the hit, man. Alright, 
That's a dude? Oh shit. Alright, Odin. Now you can do your job. 100%. Oh. That's how he looks? This dude is so extravagant. We have two new sponsors. One by the name of my boy <laughs> and Classy Doggo. Doggo? Big thank you to you guys. Uh, one of those dudes is a meme itself, man. My boy. That, that, that's old school. That's YouTube Poop 2008 right there. Even earlier. Thank you very much, my friend. Along with Dr. Rabbit and squad a lot i appreciate it my boy a lot of you young niggas you 16 year olds i don't know nothing about that zelda cdi shit my man you don't know nothing about that hotel mario shit man that was my internet back then all right that was me that chad warden but yo i appreciate it regardless if you a young nigga or a new nigga thank you very much for showing support to your boy we got them benefits in the description so go check those out please please let's use the bloom festa you know what yeah, let's use the bloom for style. Fuck it. Oh no, the heal. Rather, just a regular heal. Okay. Oh shit! If they get to the fucking houses, they make units come out? Oh, I didn't realize that's what they fucking... Oh, I didn't realize there was a race. Damn, it's dead ass a fucking race, my nigga. Holy shit. Oh, wow. That's fucking crazy. Jesus, nigga. Wow. Alright, well, now I know. Now I am aware. Damn, we have a flood of niggas. Wow. This is going to be tricky. Oh my god, they're everywhere. We're going to have to be super careful with this. That's a lot of Negroes. Melt the ice to make a lake for one turn. What the fuck does that do? Damn, what do I do here? I didn't realize it would be like this. The only thing I can think of is to get him in a corner and start playing real tricky. Real tricky. Take him out one by one as they approach us, I suppose. But one thing I really would want to get priority on stopping them from taking another village. Because if these dudes get their village down here, that's going to be impossible for us. Shit. So yeah, let's be really, really careful. We're going to have to probably move up. Time to move up, niggas. This is too much now. It's too damn merch. Start moving up, dudes. Jesus. Felicia, you go there. Heal up a nigga. It seems like a waste of a sun for style. We just have her take these hits. Um God damn though, my nigga. Hmm. Okay. At least she pulls in someone. Alright. Here they all fucking come. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus, how the hell are we going to take that out? Look at all them niggas. Look at them. Jesus. Christ, what the fuck? Melt the lake. Melt the ice to make a lake for one turn. How? Oh my god, that's a gang of niggas. Kill the boss. That's the goal. Yeah, I know, but Jesus, how are we going to how are we going to penetrate that shit? This is crazy, dog. We're really going to have to take it one at a time, but if we get covered by all sides, it's over. Bait them. Alright, you know what? We're definitely going to have to bait. We're definitely going to have to bait. Give them some master bait. We're going to have to do the most masterful bait we can do. 
You know what? I'm not scared, Felicia. As long as it's only magic, you're okay. I'm not worried at all, Felicia. They're a little scary, though. And me suffer 20 avoid. Yeah, I know. That's kind of scary, but... With your Fim Belviter, it'll do 18 damage to us with a resistance of 14 that we have. You won't do shit. You won't do shit either, basically. Alright, so you know what? Let's just keep using our magic killer. We have Livy! My boy Rune and Livy Torres joining the spawns group. Livy, it's cool to see you in here, my man. It's one of my squad members right there, but he actually joined the sponsor group as well, too. Yo, Livy, big thank you to you, my friend. Thank you very much. Someone said melt the ice. I guess that's an option. In fact, I think that might be an option we need to take into consideration big time because this is scary. This is scary. How many kills will we be able to get? How many how many kills will we be able to do on one turn? One kill, two kills, three kills, four kills, five kills. But if we can't kill enough of them to keep ourselves at bay on a certain turn, then we're fucked. But this is such valuable experience points, man. It's a dangerous situation, but it's one that I feel like I can take on. It's not all that bad. Guys, it's time to move in. We can just try to bulwark them here. And pray to God that we're able to hold them back. Time to take some risk, man. Time to take some fucking risk. Let's go, Felicia. Guys, pray. It's time to fucking pray. Flame shuriken. Go for it. 100%. Throw that shit. No damage, bitch. I got a lot of resistance. I did it! A lot of enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Got a lot of niggas trying to steal me out of synergy. Trying to get across that big yes. lake. That big lake. <laughs> hey. Fuck around with me. I'll stab your ass with a rake. Hey. <laughs> Let's go, Felicia. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so now everyone, move up, move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Move, 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 move up. Move up. Corin, get your fucking ass up there. Still barefoot as hell. It's snowy out here, nigga. Heal. We won't give up. Hell no, you won't. That's a lot of experience points down there right now, my man. We ain't gonna give up on that shit just yet. Everyone stick together. Priority. They're playing safe too, though, you know? These enemies aren't really playing dumb. They know damn well what the fuck they're doing. They're, they're edge-waiting us as well. Separate. Odin. Move in. Time to pray. Come on. Come on. Bring that shit. Excellent. Let's keep it fucking moving. So now. You're obviously going to be able to attack us. I want to know what they'll be able to do. And what you'll be able to do. And what they'll be able to do. Because you guys are obviously going to die here. But. Right, so now what, what is your skill? You have. Quick draw. This unit deals 4 plus damage. When initiating combat, that's actually pretty scary. HP plus 5. That's kind of scary, my man. We can put our Dragon Stone on and have a bunch of defense to take those guys' hits. His thing is um, plus 4 damage, right? But he has 19 attack. So Corrin will be able to eat it. As long as he has the Norian Blade on. Oh yeah, he'll be fine. With the Norian Blade, Corrin can tank it all. Fuck it, Corrin. If you can really do it, my friend, then I'm not stopping you, man. I'm not stopping you. But it's just the, the, the magic attacks of these guys that are going to come through that's going to be scary. We're going to have to make a safe haven for ourselves and fast. No. Alright, so for now. Damn, they're coming from everywhere, dog. Shit. They're coming from everywhere, yo. Maybe our only option is to hold ourselves up in that bitch. 
I don't want to leave anyone behind, man. No child left behind, dog. It's kind of scary. Alright, let me see here. So we have magic units here. Let's turn you guys off for now, because you won't be able to reach us on this turn, per se. The biggest threats right now would be these guys. I ain't worried about that other dude behind them. And these guys. If we have our far range units come in, they can actually do some work. Yeah, our far range units can do some work here. And we can bait out these niggas as well, too. Oh, yeah, this is great. This is great. Alright, so we can have my man Niles come through. New sponsor by the name of X Spine Splitter X. X Spine. X Spine, thank you. Big time spawns hype to you, my friend. Really do appreciate it. Hope you're wishing me some luck right now because I'm, I need it really bad because we're kind of doing an edgy plan at the current moment. But as long as those fucking barbarians won't be able to get to us, the fighters, then we're okay. We can literally play Ring Around the Rosie in this bitch. Niles, you can work, can't you? I know you can work, Niles. You got a lot of, you got a lot of magic defense, my man. They ain't going to be able to do much to you. Well, they'll be able to do something because they have the 5 plus the 4. And plus, they have, you know, the, the extra damage from the Malefic Aura. It's kind of scary now that I'm looking at it, my man. But you still got a lot of fucking resistance. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this staff on you. I'm going to heal you to max HP. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I got some other options, don't I? No, no, no. We can kill one of them first off. First, first and foremost. So we can get rid of that double attack. I mean, really, come on. Double attack is going to be dangerous here. But we can literally finish you off in this one turn. That's fine. Go for it. You missed the 10,000 G because you took too long. Yeah, I am I'm aware of that. But I don't give a damn about 10,000 G when I care more about the experience points, if anything. So, I mean, that's why, you know, sure, I didn't make out with the money this time. But we're making out with the experience. I'm really trying to stick around with this. I realize if we melt the lake, it might just be able to kill all these units. And why kill them all when we can actually use them for experience and bulk up our units as long as we play smart? So, I'm trying to look at this from that perspective. But the scary part is that all these guys are going to come through at the same exact time. So we need to make sure that our units on horses are readily equipped to be able to ride around. So they can pair up and get our people out of there. For now, let's just keep taking them out one by one. Staff, heal, Niles. Dang, dude. This might just be a fucking doomed plan to be honest with you. I literally might just be dooming myself. Because there's so many of them. There's so fucking many. But I'm thinking I can dance around the houses, use the terrain advantages to help me out. I'm praying that I'll be able to do all of that to help myself out. Or we can just go in with Corrin and finish this guy here right now. Like, we can literally do that as well. But it's the magic that's bothering me, you know? Or is it? It is not the magic that's bothering me. Yeah, this is fine. Corn, go in. Eat. Eat, my nigga. Attack with the Norian blade. Norian blade. Please come fuck with me. Defense is high on that man, so he shouldn't be taking too much damage from those guards that are up there. Those um fighters that are up there. Please come fuck with me. Meanwhile, it's time to fucking back the fuck out. So niggas, head, start heading up. Start heading the fuck up. Units that can't really move that far, I'm going to need you to um, start moving up. Please. Do that. Corrin can take some shit right now. But units that can't really move. Separate. And Niles, here, you, you move up as well too, my man, if you can. Not really too much space here, but you'll be able to deal. Let's go. Bring it on. Corn's got it. Two damage, nigga. Fuck out of here. Two hits, my nigga. I won't surrender. Dragon Fang, we smash brothers now. Let's go, Corrin. Let's go, Corrin. I think you did. I think you did. Let him come through. Two damage. We're fine. Corrin, do it. And he missed. 
just like a lacking. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I love when he says that shit, but he ain't getting no experience out here. But I mean, I guess it makes sense. So now they're not playing as aggressive as I thought. They oh, yeah, yeah, more niggas. More niggas, of course. So I mean, okay, we're playing a little bit on the safe side, but it's fine. As long as we wait him out. Wait him out, my nigga. So now, what direction should we take? Actually, I gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. Gotta take a long piss. We back, we back, we back. Let's continue, man. Two hours into the stream almost. Guys, there's people that are donating. Hold on. You guys gotta stop donating, man. Because I, I turned the donations off for this. I apologize, dudes. I didn't really... Damn. Nene plays, though. I see your donation, but I just can't... You know, I, I can't read it right now, but I'll shout out all the donations I missed after the fact. It's just... I, I really have to stay focused right now, but thank you for understanding. Hmm, so we could wait it out. Go for the EXP on the bottom. The bottom is looking real scary though, so let's just clear out the top. Be honest, I think we can comb the top out a bit. From this angle though, from like the top up here. Not like from down there. Okay. This is fine. Switch. Separate. Effie, you up there. We'll kind of try to split our units a little bit, you know? Leave our magic killing units down here. What item should you put on, Corrin? Resistance plus three. Put the dragon stone on, my man. Just to be safe. Wait it out. Resistance units are down here. We'll be fine. Bloom for stuff. Perfect. And now... We're going to have um, someone to bait the magic attacks. So you, you're not, are you going to be able to hit us from down there? Danger zone off. You'll be able to, oh wait, no, no, these guys, not a priority. Um, you won't be able to hit us if Felicia decides to go in and bait. So turn the danger zone on and we're going to bait it right on the edge, right on the fucking edge. Just so we can get a double attack with corn if the situation comes in. And we're also going to put on Sizo Star so that way we can have the strength plus um, benefit in case we do engage a battle. We're going to wait there. Next, we'll send um, Odin up there since, you know, he'll probably do more damage to the um, physical unit up there than the magic unit. And now we're going to wait it out. Come through. Why didn't you attack? Weird. Very fucking weird, man. But okay, so now danger zone off. This dude isn't moving. So now we need to know what you can move to. 
Alright, well, we'll just take you niggas out then. Fuck it. Um, this dude, Niles, is really, really fucking cool, though. Like, he's able to do a lot. So... Actually, no, no, no. Let's get the speed, the strength benefit first off. We're gonna keep her there since, you know, the bait is real. We'll be able to take them all out on this turn. Sizo Star is the one that'll do the strength plus, right? Yeah, Sizo Star. And, you know, we'll still get the kill anyway, so fuck it! What happened to Mozu? She's in the back. Well, she's not on the field. She's in the back in terms of the camp. Follow up. No damage. I know things are going to get tough in these fights when we start fighting ninjas and other people that can use daggers. That's when things are going to get crazy with that. Now we have the strength benefit. So... Niles. That's fine. There we go. How disappointing. Indeed. Next on the list is this guy. So you know what? I guess we're gonna have to pull you in. We're gonna have to bait you a bit. So that's fine with me. Let's turn off your zone. Let's just see what we're capable of here. And uh, yeah, okay, this is fine. So. We know where these guys are going to be attacking us from. We have Corrin down here. Obviously, Corrin can finish you off. Let's play it a little... Actually, no, 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 no. Because these guys will be able to come through down here. We're going to have Corrin stay with his resistance um, thanks to the Dragonstone. But then again, no. Then you got to be able to attack us. So, yeah. We're going to have to kind of play it a little risky on this end. These niggas have the skill that raises their damage. Yes, they do. Not good, but that motherfucker has to die, so... Hmm... Hmm... Dragonstone plus three, hmm... Hmm... Alright, go for it, Corn. 22 damage, Norian Blade. More defense, why not? Dragon Fang. There we go. Shot. That shit activates really quick. I mean, it activates frequently. To be real with you. Alright, there we go. No. I mean, okay, well, how much damage are you going to take this turn? 25 HP at resistance of 9. She has an attack of 15. So we'll take 6. And then we'll take, um, none from you. But then we'll also take plus two, so six, seven, eight. We can deal with eight damage. We can deal with eight damage. Next, we're going to send Effie in there to do a little bit of baiting herself. Masterful baiting. Effie, wait it out, my girl. Actually, what are we, we going to do here, sword catcher? I'll just put the iron one off for now. Actually, no, no. Doubles might when the skill is higher than the enemies. Well, obviously, we must have higher skill than him. We don't. <laughs> okay. So, iron lance then. What weapons do you have? He has an axe, right? Yeah, so we're gonna just put the iron lance on. There we go. Wait there, and now we're gonna have someone ready to go in there with you on the double. So we'll have Odin do it. There we go, and we're going to have Silas move up there. Arthur, move in a little bit, my friend. You ain't got to be scared. And finally, we're going to have Elise roll in with the heal. More experience points, the better. More experience, the better. I mean, I knew it happened. All right, not too much. Oh, you get the plus two because, you know, you have the skill with your friend. Oh lord, this is gonna be a massacre. This one's for you. 
Damn, nigga. Nice one. Alright, but we still can't relax, man. There's still a lot of fuckers coming through. Right, the experience really isn't getting shared around all that much, so we gotta... We gotta kinda start... Putting niggas out there now, you know? I mean... It's one thing if you're getting a lot of experience, but if it's only going to a couple of your units, that's not a good thing. So, let's try... There's only two of you dudes here, right? So let's see who can pull off a fucking kill. I don't want to pair up, though, because we're going to need niggas on the offensive constantly in this. So... Mm, Niles. Who really needs the experience? It's fucking Silas and Arthur. But being real with you. And, and Odin. Silas, Arthur, and Odin. These guys really aren't getting used too much here. We have, um... Zuchin. Zuchin joining the sponsored group. Hold this shit, my friend. Welcome to the squad. Um, well, the sponsor squad. We really do appreciate that shit. We have them benefits in the description. You can go there. Spawn type, my friends. Please don't let, don't hesitate on the spawn type. You gotta let these dudes feel welcomed. The sponsor chat is really cool. They'll accept you no problem at all, my friend. Hope you have a good time in that bitch. I'll probably be in there after the stream for a little bit. Um, Niles, though, I'm really liking him. He does a lot. With this, we don't really have an archer class yet, do we? No, I don't think we do. Twelve twenty-four. That's fine with me. We've got this. I can help. A miss, my nigga. Eighty-eight percent. Eighty-eight percent. All right, so now we're gonna have to. Well, not really. Everyone here has pretty high resistance. Everyone here has really high resistance, so I mean, not, not a problem. Corin. There we go. It's fine. We have Elise right there ready to heal you up, my man. You did good. But he ain't getting no experience points out here now, though. Probably because he's way too high level. Thunder. Hmm, Corin. Alright, I see what they're gonna try to do. They're really trying to get a tax stance up on us. So we're gonna have to first kill that bitch. All right, we kind of have like a magic annihilation unit down here, basically. Like the guys that aren't really able to move that far in are kind of being left behind. To be real with you, the ones that can't really move in that fast. Odin, I don't know what your deal is, bro, but just chill there for now. Next, there we go, right in the edge. Go. Now we're gonna attack with Sizzle Star just to ensure that we get the strength boost. I'm here to help. Whatever works. Facts. There we go. Very nice. I love to see that. Damn, all these niggas, the same niggas getting the same experience, man. Shit. That's a lot of damage that we're going to be taking there, man. I mean, Arthur has the fucking, uh... I don't know, Arthur. I don't trust you down there, man. I just don't. I don't trust you. Shit. Maybe this just isn't a game for them. Silas. Shit. We're gonna have to try to give Odin the experience of killing the boss, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not liking it, man. You're gonna take a lot of damage for what? 
And plus, they have that skill, the Malefic Aura. You're gonna take a lot more than you says right there. Shit. Not good. Yeah, this is all Maho. If it wasn't magic, it would be a little bit easier to deal with, but it's magic, my man. You ain't got the body, you ain't got the stomach for that. Neither does this nigga. I thought Dark Mages were supposed to have a lot of defense, man. What's going on? You don't have defense and you don't got resistance, but you're only level 5, so I guess that makes sense. But still. Shit. Yep, it's gonna be another Corin takes the show moment. Along with Felicia. And Niles. Heal up. You know, this is just, yeah, yeah, heal up. Alright. Well, at least niggas got a strength boost. Although, I don't think it really matters for you. Or does it? I don't really know what archers get their attack power from. Is it strength or is it skill? Well, whatever it is. We are going to test these dudes' ranges first off. First and foremost. What can you do? What is this thing again? Minus 20 avoidance. That's alright. Mm. Better not miss. Better not miss. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. 6 plus 1. 7. You'll have 12 left. Plus... A lot of damage. Plus, this is like I have a crit rate. No? Hmm. Alright, so let's break up this little uh, fucking party here, first and foremost. With Felicia. You know, maybe we should go in the recording. Yato Blade? Norian Blade take very little there. Go for it. It's okay. All right. Good shit. Although you're you're getting real little, so we're probably gonna have to do something about that eventually. Next, Felicia. Kill that motherfucker that has the skill. Which one is it with the skill? It's you. Flame Shuriken. Yeah, do that! Damn, we took the damage. <laughs> okay. Now, Niles. You're gonna be attacking with Felicia, so we should get a kill. Before you're able to do anything to us. Bam! Felicia. There you go. Oh no, he lives. Oh, t that's fine. Oh, it's like one damage. There. That's okay. That's what I'm saying. Now I was just slacking. We're still in the danger zone by this little nigga, but it's fine. And we're gonna need someone to pull in that attacker here with Finn Blue Viter. But I mean, it's like two damage, and then you you have twenty attack on me, man. With my five resistance, I ain't gonna be able to do shit. We can try to bait you, and we can see, maybe we can survive one. We will be able to survive one hit, but, uh, Arthur, you got a lot of HP, right, Arthur? You got a lot of HP, my man. Why don't you just go in there and bait? And why don't you put on your hand axe while you're at it, since they're gonna fucking try to attack you, so. From far range. You, you know it's gonna be far range, right, Arthur? Because they need something out here, man. Niggas is eating all the experience up. Damn, 16 damage, my nigga. Got him. Thank you. Give us something. Arthur was slacking in the experience. You little fucker. We're fine, Corrin. Oh, and the miss. Okay, it's good for me. They're not moving in, though. So let's see here. You guys can see your range. Um, let's see. Odin, you were supposed to go in for the kill, but I guess I had Nikki's next to each other, so that's why they got the double. But, um. Hmm. Okay. 
So, Niles, you look like a really fucking good unit, though, so maybe we should just give you a lot of the experience for now. Temporarily. Um, get the flame shuriken on. Good. Oh, my dumbass. I didn't fucking move far enough. That's okay. There we go, Niles. I like you more than Virion. Let's fucking go. I deserve better. That nigga. <laughs> that nigga Niles. Oh, man. That boy's a cut above. That boy is a cut above. But all right, so now we took out a lot of those magic units. So all we have are these physical fighters for the most part left. Physical fighters. Now, the, that's when these boys can come in and do some work. These boys can do some work. So let's fucking pull him in. In a safe way, however. You know, we're not, we're not playing too risky, but let's, let's do it in a safe way. Uh, meanwhile, you're probably going to want to pair up, um, Effie. We're going to get you a little further, a little easier. Separate. There's a lot of people that need healing down here. So, rather than use your vulnerary and waste money and waste experience, we're going to have Elise provide the healing everyone needs right now. It'll take a little while, but hey. Heal up. Time. It'll take a little while, but you know what, at least you keep, you keep getting that experience. You'll become a Valkyrie yet. Good shit. Wait, then we have corn here. Alright, they didn't move, so let's just keep having at least take full advantage of the situation. Okay. Still didn't move. Alright, keep taking advantage. Fuck it. Good shit. Just keep going. Elise is healing everyone up right now. She's providing service out here. Close the window. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Keep it moving. I know I could give, I could have um, Felicia heal up too, but Felicia is already on another level with this shit. Like right now, I think the priority is getting Elise up too, because Elise is level what nine? Felicia is level ten, so Elise could use it better. I mean, we're wasting heal. You know, heal costs money as well too. But all right, now I think we can start putting in some work. So let's pull in some niggas. No special skills here from what I see. But we do have you that has a steel dagger. Very, very risky. Hmm. Okay. But you don't move any spaces. You don't move. So that's okay. We're just going to pull them in then. Steel axe. That's fine. No special skills here, besides your massive amount of HP, so go for it. Your strength is 16, right? So your skill will be activated. You'll be doing a lot of fucking work against these dudes, Effie. Okay. And next. Let's get Odin in there, man. Pair up. Separate. There we go. And Arthur, you'll be one more person to need to experience. And we gotta remember Stil Stylus as well. And then finally we have you, Niles. Wait there. Last person is Corin, and we need um, Arthur with a heal. What? Oh lord. That was cute. You are good that was fucking adorable. I was here for... oh, these 
Odin got something. Am I too strong? <laughs> yeah, I think you might be. Okay, great. So, Odin, you can take him out, can't you? I'll crush them. Ooh. Glory unyielding. What the fuck, Odin? Aren't you going a little too ham, my man? She won't be able to move. No spear either. Um, Silas, are you ready for this, my man? No, yeah, yeah, you're, you're definitely ready. Arthur is ready too. You know what, Arthur? You always, I'm, I'm always putting you down, man. Why don't you try going there? Arthur's axe, cause your accuracy fucking sucks. Don't let niggas have to come through and save you, Arthur. Strength is everything. No. Not over yet. Reliable. Seventy-six percent. Jesus Christ. Arthur, your luck is fucking terrible, nigga. Now. Fuck. Now we're going to have to come through with Felicia to clean up stuff as usual. You know what? It's hilarious how Felicia's role as a maid is actually her role on the battlefield as well. Clean up shit. When, when niggas are left behind, Felicia just, just do the dirty work. Finish the rest off. That's it. Just, just, just take care of them. She does that job so well, man. Alright, so now, Silas, you're going to have to rescue this nigga. Whatever, I don't care. What the fuck? He's naked? He's fucking naked! Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Strips the foe's armor. What the fuck was that? That nigga was naked. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> Does that work against the girls too, or is it just? A... Whoa! That was kind of crazy, dog. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Wow! Their clothes really come off. We send Rinkagura now. Jesus Christ! That was insane. It works for girls too? Holy shit, Silas, you might have just become my next favorite unit. <laughs> that boy strips him. Oh my god. We send Ren Kagura. <laughs> we send Ren Kagura. Okay. Okay, nigga. Fuck it. What the hell? Was that? I won't fail again. The Raider Katana. If it's named Raider, it has that attribute of stripping their clothes off. Fucking crazy, yo. We have Sunny Deredi joined in the spawns group. Sunny, what is going on, my friend? Thank you very much for that sponsorship. You just saw me take a nigga's clothes off in the middle of the fucking Arctic tundra. Hopefully you enjoyed that shit. I really don't want to kill this girl. Hopefully we can recruit her. You don't know what you just signed yourself right up back. for, my man. Nigga stabbed us. Try me off the side. So that girl's gonna keep trying to free shit. So okay. Let's start pulling in some units. gonna go down here. Actually, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna go down here with Felicia. She'll be able to pull in magic. Meanwhile, on this side of things, we're gonna have Odin come through, get the kill. I'll protect you. Woo! That boy is fancy as hell. Capture device not found. Fuck. Give me a second. You guys know the problems I'm having with these capture cards. 
power! This dude, Odin, what the hell is the story? Yo, this dude is fucking crazy, yo. And now... Corin. This dude is fucking crazy. The too much <laughs> What the hell? Odin, dog, you gotta chill, my man. It ain't that serious out here. I mean, it is, I guess, but... Still. Alright, we're gonna have to pull someone in over here, too. Best unit I can think of for that. Well, Effie, you have the magic, so it's a little dangerous, but... We should have put Corn in the pull in. But it's okay. There we go. Oh, it's too bad you're getting blown back. Odin is fucking hilarious, yo. Nigga said too much power! <laughs> I can see that shit in my head, how that would play out in real life. They're paired up? I didn't realize they were paired up. Whoops. Whoops. And now we have one turn without magic, but I mean, I mean without healing, but it's fine. Hmm, okay. So now we're gonna have Odin and his power come through and finish this dude off. Pair up here for now. Corrin come through, attack this dude with the Dragonstone. Now I don't wanna do too much damage to him. Dragonstone will do 18. Awesome. All right, and now Odin. Switch it up. Attack. Very bad accuracy, but... Attack with that thunder. Hopefully you get the kill. I'll help you. This dude is hilarious. God, <laughs> this dude is fucking crazy, yo. Okay, so now we're gonna have to bait a little bit here. Once again, once again, you guys know that's the story of my life. All right, there. Wait there. Slow and steady. It's okay, Corin. I ain't worried about no Fimblevita. Although I'm worried about your stat drop after that girl throws that knife at you. What did she lower? Strength. Weakened. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep doing that by accident. Speed is lowered. Strength is lowered. That's fine. It is fine. Who needs experience? Arthur. And Odin. Odin. Odin needs the fucking experience, yo. So you know what? Go in there again, Corrin, with the Dragonstone. Wait, no, you're gonna take a lot of damage there. Hold on a minute, hold on. Let's just, uh, make sure that's remedied. Moon for style. There we go. Yeah, I'm already at least at level 10. Kill Flora. And she learned that skill that gives male allies more defense. No, excuse me, less damage. So now... Bad move. I mean... Thirteen. Eleven. Eleven damage isn't too bad. No, no, no. It'll kill you. Fuck. Alright, we're gonna have to separate Odin. I mean, it sucks that we have to, but... 
you know, that bitch has to die in this turn. Or otherwise, you're going to be doing a lot of damage to us with the magic stuff. So, you know what? Okay. Fine then. Separate here. Would you be able to get the kill? Yes, you would. God damn. Tsubaki's Pike. Yeah, we'd be able to get the kill with just Effie. So for now, Odin, you're going to separate. With Odin, yeah. Actually, yeah. Get the attack with Odin. The Raider Naginata. Let's see how this looks. Alright, Effie. That's a dude? It really is a dude! It looked like a girl! Wow! But the dark mages look like fucking girls. It okay, never mind. It's a dude. Yeah, okay, I see now. I, I thought that was cleavage right there. That's not cleavage. That is definitely a man's chest. Now I know. Alright, go to information. We're done with that. Oh no. As a daughter of the Ice Tribe's leader, it is my duty to protect our people. Etika, strip flora? Oh god, <laughs> that is so fucked up. <laughs> but okay, if you want me to. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me do this strategically now. Damn it, Arthur! You still ain't gonna fucking hit him, Barely. Thank you. God damn it. And now Odin. Oh my lord. Effie, you better hit him. We can do this together. Don't come any closer. Wow. Come on, Effie. Come on, Odin. Now Niles is gonna have to clean your mess up. Or someone else. You know what, Effie? Fuck it. Get to level 10. This raider weapon is fucking hilarious, though. You have my support. <laughs> that fucking Speedo, yo. That fucking Speedo. And now Silas. Silas, Silas, Silas. Goddamn. The Raider Katana. Oh my god, this is gonna be so weird. <laughs> Go for it, Silas. I'll protect you. What the fuck? Oh, it didn't work. Oh, you can't strip the, um, the girls, I guess? This is such a crazy looking view. Jesus. That is such a crazy looking view. But all right, so now 19 attack. Holy shit. Oh my god, our stats are lowered. Yeah, we're going to have to kill her this turn. Shit, she's fucking everyone up. Unless we heal up uh Hmm. She has 19 attack. <sighs> Any crit chance? Mm, nope. 19 attack to his 7 defense. You'll be alright. You'll take a lot of damage, but you'll be alright. It's, um, alright, time to heal you up. Sun Festal. I won't forget this. Talk to her. Yeah, I will. I'll try to see if I could. I don't think you can, though. It didn't seem like you could. Because Corrin doesn't have a talk option, so there ain't no talking to happen here. We just straight up gotta beat her ass. I'll be your shield. Shit. Let me add over. Okay. Alright, and now, can we finally fucking take... Wow, she has a lot of resistance too. It's up to 15. Shit, but don't we have some skills on our side that can give us some more damage here? 
She has one HP left. Maybe if we pair up. Magic will raise a plus two. Okay, now that won't be enough. We can... Plus two. Nope. Hmm. We can raise his... What, what can you... Fucking... Odin, man. Jesus, Odin. I'm really trying with you right now, man. But okay. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Oh, good job, mods. Okay. Block him again. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, let me see. Whatever. 100%. Don't matter. Oh, wait. No, hold on. No, let's be safe here. Let's be careful. Okay, now we are finally done. Everyone caught the experience points, so we are good now. We spent an hour and a half on this shit. At least it's done now. Close enough to being done. Felicia, go for it. There we go. Hopefully Odin gets something. Because he's the only magic in it we have. Just finish it, why don't you? No point in showing mercy now. Still ain't level up, though. Alright, well, whatever. Now, let's keep moving him. Actually, we need to start baiting shit now. Time to do a dragon form. Time to take the fight straight to that dude. So, you know what? Bet Dragonstone time. I'm gonna leave that on. Wait it out. Go in. Wait that out. Come through! Mm -mm. Okay, let's see what we can do here. You're, you're still weakened, right? So you won't be able to do much. You'll be able to do something. A little something. Dragonstone 19, that's fine. Fast forward. What the fuck? We got a kill on a critical hit? Fucking Corrin, man. Overachieving ass motherfucker. Meanwhile, on this side of things. No. We want that experience for Odin. Can you move? Let's just lower your stats. Never mind. Nah, uh, let me see here. Something that won't do that much. Size old star. Alright, just don't get a crit, please. There we go. Now Odin can come through. Thank you. Jesus. than yours my darkness was darker than yours really this dude odin is so flashy <laughs> my aching blood <laughs> what the hell my aching blood that's the name of his fucking skill <laughs> oh my god yo i can't with this nigga i really can't thank you sidekick Sidekick, really? All right, let's keep moving in. My aching blood. <laughs> this dude is so crazy, man. All right, Felicia, time to do a job. Oh, he has no sforatu. Hmm. Okay, twenty-three. Yeah. Okay, he's a little bit of a problem, but not for Felicia. She got it. My girl is ready. 
Throw um, Sizo Star, because I think that's going to lower their attack enough for us to come through. So, level 7. Level 7. Level 11. Level 9. Level 12. Level 7. So you need it. You need it. And you need it. Hmm. They all need it. Oh, that won't be good at all. Shit. Saizo. Felicia, my dear child, I never thought that I would see this day. Taking up arms against your own people and siding with our enemy. Father, please don't say such things. This is the last thing that I wanted. It pains me to raise a daughter. Wait, it pains me to raise a hand against my precious daughter. Shit. But alas, this is how it must be for the good of the tribe. Gods forgive me. Oh Lord. Don't take all the glory. Okay. Nosferatu. Forgot to do that. Alright. So he's weakened now. But this is good, because now we can come through and do a lot more damage. Like holy shit. But he'll kill us in one hit. So it's not good for us to run in there with that. Didn't we lower his his magic though? No, he can still do a lot of fucking damage. Lower his strength, defense, and resistance, but it's not his, not his magic attack. You see, he's gonna be able to do a lot to us. Should we just wipe him out here? I would love if Arthur got the experience or Odin better. Ten damage, huh? You can take it. Okay. We are a proud people. And we shall not yield to the kingdom of Nor. I'm here for you. There we go. He's at that 911. All right, and finally, let's see here. We can heal up someone. Or rather, we should just go for the kill. Damn, we ain't gonna be able to hit shit. Well, unless we use a freeze on the nigga. Staff, freeze that bitch. 58%! Did it work? Oh, it worked. Nice. So now, Arthur. You still can't hit that nigga! And he's gonna wipe you out if you fucking miss. Not worth it. This nigga Arthur, man. Fucking Effie, just go through. Freeze only stops movement. No, it lowers their avoidance as well, doesn't it? Reduces enemy move to zero and avoidance by 20. It removes their avoidance, but he was still able to fucking dodge? Doesn't it lower their avoidance? That's what it says right here. Yeah, it lowers a void as well. Dude, you Silas? I mean, I guess so, but... Yeah, Silas, fuck it. You can, you can do it, right? Bronze Lance, 92. You better not fucking miss. Sorry, Ice Chief. You didn't take my life when you had the chance. Tell me why. Because we wanted fucking Odin to do it or somebody else, but whatever. Gotta do what we got. Yes. That's all? Come on, Silas. We didn't get you an experience boost for that. Oh, that would do. Send it to the convoy. We're done. Took way too long. But you know, niggas got some valuable right. experience. The battle is over for now, at least. Thanks to your valiant efforts, we managed a victory without taking any lives. 
Elise, will you please attend to the injured regardless of what side they fought on? It. Leave it to me. I'll have them all healed up before you can say Elise is the best. She's out. You. The Norian army fought a battle without murder or brutality. How is this possible? What are you playing at, Prince of Norse? Yes. This is no game, Kilma. I don't believe in killing for the sake of killing. Nor am I inclined to repay kindness with violence. I still owe you my life, after all. Even though we attacked you first, while you were weak, you still showed wow. mercy. I would love for nothing more than for us to make today a turning point. One fueled not by force or control, but by mutual trust. I know it will take time and it won't be easy, but in my heart, I know it's the only way. When my father ordered me to quell this rebellion, I knew I had to do it my way. Whatever the consequences, I want to build a world that we can all live in peacefully. <sighs> Could it be that you really did intend to stop the rebellion with words as Elise said? I would say it must be hereditary, but Elise isn't actually your blood relative. Huh? Wait, then you're not a Prince of Nor after all. <laughs> Lord Corrin, is this true? I don't believe yeah. it. Well, it is true, Flora. I found out during my brief time in Hoshido. I am not King Garin's true son, nor this kingdom's true prince. But I wish nothing more than to end this war for all of us and for all kingdoms. That is why I must do all I can to make Father recognize me as his son is again. Is that so? Well, I had no idea. I seem to have missed a lot after leaving the Northern Fortress. Forgive me, Lord Kilmer, but I know what I'm about to ask is somewhat of a selfish request, but I must ask all the same. Will you and your tribe agree to halt your rebellion? In return, I promise to do all I can to give back to your people. Um, excuse me, to, I'll do all I can to give your people back your auto, autonomy? Autonomy? I gotta look that up. I will not rest until the Ice Tribe regains freedoms, um, regains the freedoms that Nor so cruelly stripped away. But for this to happen, I must first ask for your cooperation. <laughs> well, you're full of surprises, young prince. You're damn right. I never would thought I never thought I would say this, but you may count on our full cooperation. Well, thank you. I swear to you that you will not regret yes. this. There's a fierce kindness in your eyes, a mysterious calmness in your words. I'm afraid I can't help but take you at your word, Lord Corrin. If King Garin had said those same words, it would have made no difference, but you? You're a different story, and I can't help but to believe in you. Perhaps you are the hero who will save this world after thank all. Thank you. Well, I'm not so sure about the last part, but I do thank you for your um. trust. Lord Corn, can you ever forgive me? I know I betrayed my oath to serve you and ran away from the castle, no. but... Nah, you don't need to apologize, Flora. You did nothing wrong. It was wrong of the Norian kingdom to corner you like that, especially as a child. I will never... Wait, I will, as ever, speak highly of you to yes. Father. Your kindness knows no bounds. Thank you, Lord Corrin. Oh, Though I previously refused to do so, here and now I swear my fealty to you. <laughs> well, there's no need to go overboard, Flora. Without you and Felicia, I would have died of loneliness in the Northern Fortress. You have more than proven your fealty to me as well as your no. friendship. Well, that was all just a big, uh, well, the whole time. I guess it doesn't really matter anymore. From now on, I promise to be truly loyal to you. I'm not sure I fully understand, but the sentiment is much appreciated. So we, I think we have Flora on our team now? We're done healing everyone, Corin. That was a snap. Jesus Christ. At least. Easier done than said. Thank you. Elise is so fucking OP. Thank you, Elise, and you too, Felicia. You both did well yes. today. Indeed, we all did. Now, all we need is for King Garen to recognize your victory. Mm. I forgot about that part. What are we going to do? You were supposed to stop the rebellion on your own, but we ruined everything. We gotta come up with some great excuse to tell Father or he'll be angry. Well, I forgot about that part too, but I'll consider my options on the way home. You're leaving already, though, my boy? Can I not persuade you to stay and rest a while? I'm afraid time is of the essence, Lord Kilma. Next time we meet, I dearly hope the world will be a better place. <laughs> I have every confidence that it will be, Lord Corrin. May the gods protect you on your perilous journey towards peace. Thank that was so you cool. very much. Lord Corrin, please wait. Us villagers wish to thank you. You went out of your way to prevent us from engaging in a futile battle. Though our soldiers tried to defeat you, you still protected us and even healed us. Please take this as a token of our, our appreciation. That's it. Well, I mean, we didn't get the 10,000 G like we should have gotten, but... Oh, well. We got the experience out of those houses, though, you know? So, I mean, everyone, everyone kind of stepped up a bit. And we are pretty much done with that mission. Very good shit, guys. 
It usually takes a little while when it's updating the world, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it's taking a while. Alright, so we are good. No deaths either. We, we took it really safe though, so no one would die, I suppose, but that was good. Let me see, there's a couple of things that we need to do now. Listen. Onyx Mine. I knew you wanted some ore, so I woke up early and I mined a few big pieces. Excellent. Oh. I can do this. I feel stronger than usual, and that's pretty damn strong. Oh, okay. Does that how long does that surge last though? That's my question. Now we have Lilith Temple. Let's fucking give her something. Some meat. Strength nutrients. Fuck it. We didn't cook it this time either, Lilith. Perfect. That was wonderful. Did you prepare it? No. Thank you. I feel even more powerful now. Oh, good shit. We're out. So let's see here. What does my man Niles have to say? If I can cross this fucking bridge. Which I can't. <sighs> oh ho! Trying to tempt me with gifts. By all means, I'm yours to decorate. The hell does that mean? What is this? The fuck? Give this accessory as a gift. You will not lose the accessory. I don't get it. So you prefer for me to go unadorned? No problem. What the hell? Niles, I don't get it. Give him a bath towel. What the hell? Um, okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna save the game for now. We're about to do chapter 9. Well, um... And we can build some new shit? Whoa, we can build a lot of new shit now. Okay. All right, well, for now, guys, I think I'm going to end the stream. I'm a little bit more tired than I usually would be at this time, and I have been sleeping earlier than usual, but tomorrow, we're definitely going to do the stream earlier. So today, I started it at what, like 9.30? Tomorrow, I'm going to aim to try to do one way earlier, maybe around the time that you guys might get home from school, but no guarantees. I'm not guaranteeing you there's going to be a stream tomorrow. I'm just saying I might just do one. Anyways, I need to shout out the final people who were giving me um, a lot of support with the t-shirts, man, and the donations. There's so many things that happened during the stream that I just couldn't look at because I was too focused on this one mission. But, yo, let me just end it up by saying um, to, wow, so many of you guys. Mark Bix Bixler? Mark Bixler. Also showed us some support with the t-shirts, man. Swimsuit high for you, my friend. Michael Petrov... Petrovsky? Michael Petrovsky? Is that how you say your name? I've supported Etika every step of the way. Whether it's Pokemon, Fire Emblem, or even Smash Brothers. Etika, you're my man. Keep up those great videos and time to tip the scales. Thank you very much, my man. Got them fucking swimsuits right there. And then we have another person who um, bought a shirt named Connor Sweeney. Talking about, bruh, that's his only comment. Like, I'm not shitting you. That's literally his only comment. Look at this shit. As you can see right there. So whenever you buy a shirt, I see the message that you post right there. And it's awesome. That's why I like the Booster Campaign website. Um, now, we had donations as well, guys. And I wasn't able to read them for the stream because I had them off. But I don't think I notify people the right way. So I'm just going to show them right here. These were the donations that we received for the whole stream. I apologize, but um, Nene Plays donated $26 at one point. Been with you since 20,000 subscribers. Um, you brighten my day with each video, and I really appreciate what you do. Here's me paying back to the community. Just kidding. Fuck you. Here's some money. Love you. <laughs> what the fuck? Nene, thank you for the heartfelt message. Clearly, I, didn't, I couldn't tell if you were being hot or cold, but regardless of what temperature you were, you were in the presence of the fucking chat, you were in the presence of the fucking stream, in the presence of the hype, and I appreciate it. Thank you, big time, Nene. Funny ass comment, too. The Wordna saying Odin is actually from Awakening? He's Lissa's son with his real name being Owain, Cordelia's daughter, 
and Olivia's son are also in the game and you meet them soon. Is that why this dude is so ridiculous? Does Odin behave the same way in this as he does in his previous form in Awakening? Because he's fucking, he's cool. He's a funny ass dude. I like him. This dude's, <laughs> that dude's special attacks, yo. He's not like he could be an Undertale character. And then we have Jens Graham with another hundred dollar donation. Can I bribe you to stream early too? Six in the morning. Jen, you, you gave $200 in the stream. I don't even have the donations on, Jen. Six in the morning. Well, Jen, what time? <laughs> Damn it, Jen. I didn't even have the I'm not accepting any more donations, okay? No more. I'm putting this away. Please do not donate anymore. I'm being serious with you guys now. But, Jen, fine. I'll, I'll stream at whatever time me and Jen organize, okay? This is a one-time thing. I'll never do this again, but... Jen, you're, you're awesome, so I'm going to make an exception for you. Not just because you gave me money either. Jen, we've been talking in the sponsor chat for a little while now. She's really, really cool. So, whatever, Jen. I'll talk to you. We'll schedule. But, all right, guys. I'm tired. I need to go rest. I need to go lay my head down. Um, yesterday, I went to sleep at around this time, even though I had been sleeping at, like, 7 or 8 a.m. two days before. So, it's kind of cool my sleep schedule fixed itself. But it is time for me to head out. Thank you all for bearing with me as I played extremely slow through that chapter. But I wanted to make sure that there were no mistakes made and that we would be able to take everything in terms of the experience. So we did. We made out well. Everyone's good. Next time we stream, whenever Jen wants to, we are going to add the Robin Amiibo back to the game and see what happens. Because people are saying I need to add him multiple times. So I'll do that. Um, big thank you to the moderators for keeping the chat under control to an extent. And um, yo, man, we're ready. We're finally fucking ready. Yo, Jen hype, man. <laughs> um, but all right, guys. I will see you all in uh, whatever amount of time it is until Jen wants me to stream again. So, But I said, no one else is going to be able to do this ever again. But fucking hey, Jen, man. Come on. Anyways, dudes, thank you once again for the support with the shirts. I'll tell Akai Riot this stream was insane in terms of people supporting us with that. So yeah, I'll let you know. Um, peace out. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please, have yourself a damn good one. We out. Wait a minute, hold on, did I miss another one? No, I did not. Alright, guys, we out. Peace. Hold on a minute, niggas. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Let's go back to the game. Before we end it. Before we fully end it. You niggas got to do something for me. You got to come to my castle, man. I mean, yes. it's so cool that you can get get rewards just for people visiting you. Like, it's really awesome. So, I mean, if you guys had the time, come through, my boys. I'll show my code on the screen real quick. On the screen, on the screen real quick. Castle address. That's my motherfucking address. So, visit my black ass, okay? It's, it's, it's so cool. Like, I'm going to try to see if I can visit some of you guys as well, too. I'm going to visit this person who gave me, a, who bought me, um, who fucking um, bought a shirt from me. What was your name? Um, Anne Marie Zeser. You gave me your code here. So, yeah. Thank you once again, Anne Marie, for buying a shirt. I will definitely be visiting your castle, seeing what the hell's going on there. But, yo, that's my code. So, if you niggas want to come through and fuck with your boy, I'm a little stronger now. You ain't going to get as easy of a win against me as you did beforehand. So, bring that ass here, my boy. Bring that ass here. Right here. All right, guys? All right. Now, I'll see you later for good. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Wait, hold on. We got to give some love out there. We got to give some love out there. Hold on a minute. We're going back to Twitch. We want to do a raid. You want to do a raid with me? We're going to end this off in the right way. We just hit three hours on the stream. We got we got to give the love off to someone else, man. Niggas is fucking invading my castle, yo. So we have Mango. We have Pink Sparkle Showdown. 
um, Angry Joe, Sean Smash, TK Breezy, got my man Nairo, got my man Nairo. You know, we haven't raided Nairo in a bit. Nairo is my boy. If you don't know who Nairo is, you're kind of slacking. But we're gonna we're gonna give Nairo some love, man. Let's fucking go into the stream, my nigga. And it's my 11 month anniversary for streaming, so really cool. Oh, for being his subscriber, Nairo. Let's give Nairo some love, man. That Nairo raid right there, man. My man, Etika, what the Your man, Nairo. In a row. What's good, my yo, boy? man. Yo, let's get the... Yo, if you can, let's get the waifu emote. Obviously, because of the shirt. So, you know, let's get the waifu emo for that. It's been a month, yeah, since we last hung out. I saw this dude, Nairo, in New York City when the um, when the Fire Emblem Fates release event was happening with the Nintendo World. My boy. Yeah, this dude is here too. I fucked up. Are you gonna let me back up? Oh, attack stand. Let's tip them scales, my man. Yeah, we in here though. Very cool raid though, man. Rate? Finally hit Nairo with some love, man. But alright guys, peace out. Oh shit, wait, am I getting hit? I'm getting raided by Etika? Oh shit. I just look and my chat I just got shit on. The Etika raid though? Oh dick! <laughs> Nah, thank you for the host, Etika. I just got fucked up right there. And this man just waiting for me like a boss. Nah, I fucked that up though. I messed that up. But what's good, Etika? Probably not gonna see anything you say for like another like. Yeah, toss his ass. Toss his ass. Woo. Oh damn, I didn't toss him up. Off the fire. Thank our ESU. Thanks a lot for uh, resubscribing for five months in a row, man. Really appreciate the support. You see my subs right here? They're ready to kick your, your, your raids ass, man. <laughs> That's why I love them, man. They're ready for a fight. They're ready for a fight. Well, Link or ESU, thanks a lot for resubscribing. How is everything? It's awesome. It's awesome. Fight is free F. I think should have that grab. Should I actually have the grab. Not a oh, I thought it's a game. Oh, no, 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 no. 